Hello, I'm Paul Verhoeven. I'm the director of Starship Troopers. And I'm here to introduce, at this moment, three actors that are sitting here right around me. Right in front of me is Casper Van Dien, who plays Johnny Rico. Hello, Casper. Hi, Paul. To my left is Dina Meyer, who plays Dizzy. Hi, Paul. And re remember that in the original novel of Robert Heinlein, Dizzy uh, was a, a male character, <laughs> and I changed that to a female character. And then, of course, uh, Dina seemed to be perfect. And to my right is Neil Patrick Harris, who plays Carl, the man who is uh, intelligent and uh, becomes a fascist. As in real life. It's all close to reality, <laughs> especially as we can see the development of American politics in the next couple of years. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here, sir. Well, you have heard all the voices now of the three people that are around, and um, I would give, um, let's say, the, the room to them, because you have heard my commentary with Ed Neumeyer that I did, and um, I think now the three actors should tell you what they think about this movie. I'm Neil, and I wasn't in this scene. Oh, God, this was a great scene. We, we, had, a, we had a lot of fun uh, doing this. When we saw this film for the first time, I was sitting next to Dina, and uh, we, were, we were ecstatic. We were just, like, slapping each other, and just we just thought the film was awesome. So this must have been a super complicated shot, though, right? Because it includes CGI stuff and into the camera. Yeah, well, we had we had big uh, we had the big uh, big bug there that was um, well, not this one, but the one before where they cut the uh, guy in half. He was actually there. Well, that was Matt. Matt gets split in half right there. Oh, and, and, and he hit me. <laughs> actually hit you. Yeah. And didn't you have like 104 temperature here? Yeah, I was really, night, sick. really I, sick. I had strep throat. I was puking in between scenes, and, and Paul's like, "You need to go," and I said, "No, no, no," and and, uh, and we kept going. Uh, Trooper. Yeah. Trooper. Trooper. Sick. Fun and well, then, then you got sick <laughs> for the next couple of weeks, didn't you? Yeah, 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 for three weeks probably. <laughs> I was out for a week, I think. Here we get the, uh, we see all the characters in this scene. If you look, uh, Dina is there in the background behind Casper. There's see, Michael Ironside and um, Neil Patrick Harris is there and more or less in the middle of that shot. Busted. <laughs> Busted. You're in the scene. <laughs> oh, look at that. That, that, that room was great. <laughs> this was a fun scene. Michael had uh, this crazy prosthetic arm device. He had his actual arm was covered with a blue sleeve and he controlled a little stub, uh, his, his one-arm stub with a, with a rod, like a rod puppet. And he would so, push it up and down, yeah. Yeah, he moved it all around. So he's controlling the, the movement of it. It's a reward. What the Federation gives you for doing federal service. Oh, man. <laughs> This was all shot back on the what? Sony lot, right when we came back yeah. after we were in Casper, Wyoming. So and, we had uh, shot all Kajoka, the basketball. South Dakota. Yeah. For the two weeks that we were there. We had, we had been uh, away, so we shot the younger scenes uh, after we shot all the... Uh, Action sequences. In different planets. Different planets and places. I wonder what the city fathers of Hiroshima would say about that. You. They probably wouldn't say anything. Hiroshima was destroyed. Correct. Naked force we try to establish in this scene that um, Casper is in love with, De with Denise Richards. And I'm in love with Casper and very jealous of Of er everything, that ha everything that happens between them. Yeah, I'm chasing after the woman Basically. that I can't get, and the woman, the, the love that's right in front of me, I, um, I'm kind of just like, whatever, you know, the grass is always greener. <laughs> the citizen accepts personal responsibility for the safety of the body politic. Defending and Denise could hardly care if she hooked up with me or not. She would like... Blows me away, and do you understand it? Do you believe it? I don't know. <laughs> the point is, of course, which uh, is partly fell away out of the out of the out of the script that um, Denise is coming from a family that is uh, that are all citizens <coughs> in this kind of fascist utopia, and uh, she feels and her family feels that um, Casper can only be, um, uh, let's say, uh, Denise's husband suit. if he would become a citizen. And, I, and my family is not a citizen because they're, they're wealthy and they don't feel like they have to follow the, uh, 
the politics to uh, by joining up to actually be in the society. But you, it's the only way you can be a citizen is to serve. And originally there were, was a scene where um, where the father of Denise makes a very clear of Carmen, say, because that's her character, yeah. that the father of Carmen makes very clear to uh, to Johnny that he is not fit to be with his daughter because his family and he himself is not applying uh, to, uh, to, uh, to citizenship. They, uh, Johnny's family are all what we call in the movie civilians. Or you could say uh, the, the citizens, of course, is, is the party, like be it the Communist Party or the Fascist Party or, or whatever, and the uh, civilians are the people are not, that are not me member of that party. Yeah, the second class citizens. Well, they're not even citizens, but... And I well, they have it. the same rights, uh, but they cannot vote and, 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 and stuff like that. It's like being uh, like myself. I'm an alien resident in the United States, so I pay the taxes here and everything, but I cannot vote, which is a pity because that might have been a decisive vote this year. <laughs> <laughs> that was interesting just then because I remember when we filmed that, I had to say that line to... Uh, to Nice, and I was asking Paul which was uh, a funnier line reading to say it this way or the, the other way. And Paul said, I don't know, I don't know your, your, your American sense of humor. <laughs> you, you just do what you do, I'll work on the camera. It was funny. It's still difficult as if you are a European director and your first langu language is not <coughs> English to be exactly aware what the nuances of the American language are. Even after 15, 16 years, hmm. you are uh, basically kind of a little bit retarded there. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, he would, he, Paul would constantly do stuff. We would, uh, we would do, he would say, do it like this, uh, except for not with the accent. <laughs> <laughs> Every, the actors are always making fun of my accent, basically. <laughs> that has been in the beginning, be it, be it Casper or Dina or Nancy <laughs> Allen and Robocop, you know. It was always, but that gives a cer certain pleasure to the set, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Box, box. Box, box, lots of yelling. <laughs> This was fun. We got to play in Google. This, this was a great day. <laughs> and then when she when she uh, vomits up the uh, nice mashed ban bananas, bananas, yeah. mashed bananas, <laughs> mashed bananas. She had to keep that in her mouth. That was great. Stretches over millions of years. Uh, and Rue McClanahan now, from the Golden Girls. She was great. It's awesome. By ne need to see her coming and do this role. Hurling spore. Is that what you just said? Hurling spore. <laughs> no, she's gonna. Yeah, we had a fun with this. Mouthful of banana. <laughs> Money shot. Oh, oh, take it. Yeah. Good, good girl. <laughs> nice. That's it. Nice. Ooh, it's I even like better when it's uh, 60 yeah. feet high. Yeah. <laughs> Dizzy couldn't have enjoyed that. The throwing more. up. Yeah. The first <laughs> throwing up is something that for a long time was difficult to, do, to uh, keep into the movie because the studio felt that it was too, uh, too gory. But ultimately, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, we, we kept it in. Ah, uh, this is where Carl is, is clearly psychic. Yes, and I'm completely. <laughs> Completely stupid. And completely. A dunce. An idiot. Dunce. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All I remember from this scene is the, the ferret. ferret. The ferret from hell. <laughs> that thing was going to bite you every it's two seconds. very difficult to act with ferrets. And you'd think they'd be nice, nice, pleasant little animals. But they, uh, they, they bite, they're ravenous. And, and, and there's one shot you'll see coming up where, where I, 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 I say, hey. And I, is that he, sugar? He stands up and looks. No, it's a cream puff. A cheese puff. And, and there were three... There were three animal trainers behind me, right here, this shot coming up. And they're all going, skipper, 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 skipper up, skipper, <laughs> skipper, 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 up, skipper, <laughs> no, come here, skipper, 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 right here, this shot. Skipper, right skipper, 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 skipper. That's all you heard, skipper. <laughs> and then you, you had to loop it, didn't you? You yeah. had to do the ADR, because all you heard was skipper, 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 <laughs> skipper, skipper, skipper. The thing <laughs> wouldn't it, cooperate at all. It became a joke for the rest of the movie, I think. Yeah. I think we, it looks easy if, if you see it now, but it took a full day to make these couple of shots. And then <laughs> the ferret, yeah, it was you just, just had, you had to wait for the ferret to sit up, and then you try to act real quickly before it sat back down. Yeah. And who who wrote that in anyhow? The ferret? Yeah, the ferret. Why was it ferret? Do do oh, uh, uh, originally, it was another animal. I think it was um, a monkey or something. Wasn't it? A turtle, <laughs> I think. The monkey was booked up. That a turtle. Day, yeah, you're right. It was a turtle. turtle? I remember that. Or something remember like that, and uh, it had to go up the staircase, so it was quite difficult. <laughs> Ferrets are far funnier than turtles. Yes. Well, it would have been funny to see a turtle go up the stairs fast. Yeah. This was a fun... This was. How'd you do that flip? Was that you or was that stuff? No, that was Joey Box. Oh. They did the... Uh, Joey Box did that. He um, They had these ladders and everything, and he stepped off and he did that. I mean, we did the uh, the landing things, and we did different flips, but we, he did the whole way up in the air. That was Joey Box. Did a great job. Where'd they film this? 
This was down at uh, Long Beach, I think, at the, yeah. the, 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 the Blue Pyramid. Blue Pyramid oh, cool. Yeah, we were in the Blue Pyramid, and uh, this was fun. It's fun. And here's Patrick moving in on your girl. Well, everyone's going to the dance, aren't you? I don't know. It's my last night as a civilian. Oh, number 12, let's go. Ship up to Tarascova tomorrow. <gasps> You're going to the Fleet Academy? Uh, That's where I want to go. Come on, number 12, let's play ball. Don't get any ideas about my girlfriend. <laughs> All is fair in love and war. How many days did it take to shoot this? Smack. Ooh. Well, I mean, Bam, that was you? that was me. A lot of this was shot second unit. That was all me. It? By yes. uh, Vic Armstrong. Vic Armstrong. Who was, oh. uh, who shot uh, a lot of the of the sh uh, shots were done even befe before I came to that. Uh, to that location, hmm. yeah, and you were already working with uh, you, Casper, were already working with uh, with Vic Armstrong, and I think eighty percent of the scene is shot by Vic, and we came in for uh, for a couple of additional days. So. Yeah. And, and this is where you told her to hit me, Paul. Oh yeah, and, this is and, a and, hell of a and hit. she tried to do it light one time, and you said that <laughs> didn't look good. So she hauled off and wailed me, and I was like, but, I, mean, I, I don't think that Dina had any any needed any motivation to hit you. <laughs> Paul, you gave her a little bit more. Oh, she was, on, she didn't want to hit. Along. She didn't want to hit. She didn't want to hit me at first, really hard. And then you go. I yeah, but then her, <laughs> her real character came out, isn't it? When I gave her the opportunity. Oh, she smacked the hell out of me. I was seeing stars. Wow. That's Joey again. That's great. That was Joey again. But the rest. This is cool. This was fun. This was fun to do this whole thing. Just a blast because Patrick played football for USC. I think. I never played football. No, but you but did I good. But I played it on TV. You did a good. <laughs> That's a real NFL umpire, Ron something. He was a real NFL football player. It's an odd uh, last name. Uh, what you call it? My favorite look of Denise Reference. when she looks, <laughs> when she kisses you and looks at the other. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. So typical, huh? <laughs> oh boy. It's Sally Field in one of her finest roles. <laughs> She's actually was on a soap opera. I think it was All My Children or something like that. And that woman played my mom. And this was out in like Malibu, mm -hmm. up in the mountains, yeah. somewhere in yeah, in, in the mountains behind Malibu, uh, in, uh, towards uh, the east coast. Nice house. Side. What did it cost to rent for the day? Huh? What did it cost to rent that house for the day? I don't know what we paid for it. I, mean, I it was not that expensive. I thought. No, but, I uh, wouldn't have paid that much for it. It wasn't a. It was an awful house, like wasn't 10 it? Grand? Probably a couple of thousand dollars, I would say. But it was an awful house. I mean, just for the film you t rented, or just r generally yeah. rented? No, I mean for the film. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I would say a couple of thousand dollars. What's his name? Mm -hmm. You know the one I'm talking about. And that about. was all their artwork. <laughs> Mr. Ratchet. <laughs> looks pretty nice. Ratchet. What was not nice about it? It's just a me it looks like a metal coffin. Oh. It's it's like a rectangle. Well, and there's glass all over the place, even in the in the in the, in yeah, the super um, bedrooms, you know. Yeah. I, I hmm. Seemed very difficult to sleep there. Yeah. It's just what you see is what you have. These metal. Was, did a family live there, or was it just like a guy? No, it was a family like a, living like a, there. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was it difficult to film there with all the windows? No. No, it was okay. But you need a, a lot of light inside to balance the light from the outside, clearly, all the time. Yeah. Well, Yost did a fabulous job. Yeah. Yeah, Yost did awesome. Yeah, it's, not, it's kind of a nice, hard-edged image all the time, isn't it? It's kind of, ex like, ultra-clear. Yeah. Clean cut. Uh, of course, we were all trying to make this kind of this fascistic utopia work, isn't it? To make it clean and pure and and, and so colorful the, and all that stuff. So you have all hell break loose. Sexy dress. Look at that there, crazy Disney. '80s hair or '90s, like '80s hair. Your hair? Yeah. I think it's great. I think you're dead sexy. Actually, sexy <laughs> it's, it is. It's hot hair. It's like that fiery stuff. This was filmed the same day that we filmed that uh, exterior scene where we look at the math scores in that same plaza. Yeah. This was a late night. I'm so trying to make a move on you here. Yeah. Yeah. You'll just have none of it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm not. It's like uh, a lot of guys have said to me, why? Why didn't you just go right away? I was like, she loves you, Johnny. She loves you, man. Johnny won't have any of Dizzy. Oh, she's the greatest, though. Johnny's a breast man. <laughs> <laughs> really, really 
Really, really, really big bass. You see, now Carl, he's an ass man. That's why Carl likes me. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> and speak of the devil. Here, here he goes. Oh, yeah. Who's your oh, daddy? Yes, yeah. you know him. Who's your daddy? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Wow. Just uh-huh. disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Love me tender, man. I was cracking up so bad. Your class was the best one I had this year. Well, it's really not my job to face. I just hope you learn something. I want to join up. I think I got what it takes to be a citizen. Good for you. Go find her. Well, my parents are against it. And I know it's my choice. I was wondering. Oh, talk about your character, Casper, uh, because here basically you're becoming a, make the first step to, to, towards becoming a fascist. Yeah, I'm trying to be... Uh, this is where I make the decision. I talk to my, uh, my, my teacher, my guru. He's a man that I, I, I believe in, and, and he's, he helps inspire me to, to join up, to fight for it, you know, to, to be my own man, where my family is trying to just keep me from being a citizen. And he, uh, he's somebody that I think, uh, you know, I have uh, the, the youthful innocence in the beginning, and, and I think my character more or less develops into somebody that, that believes in the, uh, the system, the fascist system. <laughs> Oops. This is Xander. <laughs> <laughs> I always love the way she said that. Um, this is Xander. Well, I mean, there was in general a commentary uh, uh, on the movie or a criticism of the movie that everybody m- looked much too beautiful, isn't it? But that was intentional. I mean, it was our intention to have everybody look beautiful, but there was hold, uh, a lot of critics were holding that against the movie, that everybody looked too good to be true. Yeah. Wait, I mean, everybody looks so um, magnificent, really. It's uh, radiating, er- and 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 that was the lighting. <laughs> uh, uh, no, well, it was Smoke also the mirrors. choice of, of of faces, I suppose. And but I always scoffed at that criticism because I think because it was an intentional right. idea. Right. You know, hey. this is this is uh, uh, one of my favorite Johnny, shots of Dina yeah. there in the background. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Great look. Good look, man. Good face. You gave good face. <laughs> Great. Now, a lot of people would come up to me and say, you know, you know, in the book, it's Juanito Rico. How could you be Juanito Rico? And I go, well, think about it. Think about how I could be Juanito Rico. Well, we're all supposed to be from Buenos Aires. Yeah, but Buenos Aires was, you know, during, during the war, during, uh, you know, af- after Hitler was there, a lot of uh, Germans Wait, went down to... Uh, uh, that was, you guys really that, oof, tongue... You know. Like well, you, know, swapping you can see Dina chewing gum in that in that shot. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't realize we were filming. You can actually see see her look at kind of at the camera and go, "Oh my God, are we filming right now?" Are we? Filming? And then you start dancing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do we have to act now? <laughs> Paul, you remember when they, they tried to get me to do a Hitler salute in in Italy? In Italy, when we were doing the publicity, yes, yeah, we did wow. the publicity at they the tried festival. To... They said to had. To, Nearly seduced you to say uh, to uh, raise your uh, your, no, your the guy, hand the and guy, say the guy Hail said, Hitler. Yeah, the guy said, well, "Will you do a Hail Hitler first? And I go, "No." And he goes, "Come on, just do a Hail Hitler." And I said, "No." Yeah, and and, and Steve Newman gonna... went and got Paul, and Paul goes, "What? Up? He started. How dare you do this? I, this is not what my movie is." You know. And was, Never mind. You'll wind up on the front page of the Enquirer saying, like, you know, Casper Van Dien, neo-Nazi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> tries to re. Up and coming <laughs> actor. Bring, bring the Third Reich back. <laughs> This is the first moment where Carl becomes aware of his mission in life, isn't it? Yeah. A bit secretive. It's so nice because he is not really an, an, an indecent uh, fellow in any way, isn't it? Uh, as he is sketched here, he's not even opportunistic or whatever. He is just clever. Hmm. And slowly we see him becoming this kind of uh, cold-blooded, um, uh, yeah, nearly... Uh, fascist commander, isn't it? Where, where, where it's all expressed in numbers. And where uh, let's where he seems to be overlooking uh, fr- uh, friendship and humanity, yeah. and and sees it all in the perspective of um, how many people have to be killed today. This was a uh, this was an interesting shot because we filmed this shot where we three of us walk together and, and land and do this hand thing, probably forty five times. Do you remember that? At least. Notice at least. how yeah. I'm not in that. Long, Notice how Dizzy's not in that time. shot. Because it was so Isn't difficult to uh, somehow it was difficult well, to make you, it you look don't, natural. You don't live. It was, it well, was, exactly, because yeah. we're not always going to be friends. I think that's kind of like predicting what might happen at the uh, yeah. at the end. 
Yeah. It was also difficult to find the tone, basically, how much you would be laughing after... Uh, also with with Casper just coming from the guy that lost his his, his leg and his arm and, 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 a real the, amputee. and the knees and, and you being like funny about uh, well we 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 are in now isn't it it was kind of uh, was a little bit difficult to make that to, to balance that out I felt yeah I hope so I hope you don't ruin your life over some silly little girl who wants to look handsome in a uniform don't talk about Carmen that way Johnny <laughs> oops. This, this was, uh, is this the same place too, Paul? Is this down there? No, this is, no, um, this is this in is the, this is downtown, downtown LA. LA. Is this is in the, yeah. the big convention hall there. Yeah. They did a good job oh, with this. Oh, that's the convention center? center? Yes, that's what it is. Suddenly he's afraid he's never going to see me again or something. I love the visual, the color palette of everything is very, there's no, Blue, it's, all, yeah. it's all solid colors. Right. It's all primary colors on everyone, the extras in the background and. Wearing everything I well, she got to wear leather. She was the only one. <laughs> really? Well, was, <laughs> everybody else had uh, just the clothes. You, did you get to wear any leather? No, I didn't. No. no. no just no, she no. did. Just, Why just was that? that nylon. Nylon. Was there a reason to that, or didn't, didn't she look good enough otherwise? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know, but she's, she got to wear leather once. I don't know what this is. I don't know if that's... I'm going to miss you. It was so interesting that in the couple of the couple of scenes that we had to take out in the movie, yeah. because of the reaction of the audience, had all to do with uh, Denise being too sexy and too uh, promiscuous, isn't it? Hmm. Well, the, scene, scene. the scene uh, by the uh, when by the she pyramid. talks to you on the, t on, on, the on, on let's say with the message, there was a piece we had to take out, and later when she is. Uh, with pa Patrick Muldoon, and you start to find out that she she cannot make up her mind uh, who, who is, uh, if she wants to uh, be with you or with, with the other guy. Ah. And it was, people hated well, What's that. wrong with that? Well, I know, I mean. <laughs> it's okay for the guys, but it doesn't look good for the girls. That was the problem, that the woman would do that, that was the problem. And if a man would have done too. that, it would be been okay. But because it was a woman that was doubting in what way to go and couldn't make up her mind and was trying both, that was terrible. I say go, girl. And figure it out. This is the greatest <laughs> little scene in the movie. Yeah, this is a fantastic scene. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'll tell you, when I first read the script, I never, I never imagined that it was going to be this campy and this funny. No, I, I never, mean, I never thought it was going to come out looking like this. And here's our writer. And, yeah, here's Ed. Right. That's Ed Newmeyer. But it's interesting that, especially in this area, the, this is all about, uh, let's say, uh, gun control in the United States and uh, and uh, death penalty in Texas, isn't it? Yes. And that's what it was. Who was this guy? Where'd you get this guy from? If you think you're a psychic, maybe you are. <laughs> she likes the third eye. <laughs> I think he's so neat looking. <laughs> and that's um, that's your assistant, isn't mm, it? That's Stacy, my assistant. Yes. This I love. <laughs> That's, <it. laughs> That's so funny. However, Mormon extremists disregarded. It's interesting to show the censored and then the very next shot show horrible carnage. Yeah, yeah, that's a bit me trying to co point out the inconsistency of the MPA system. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Well, it's also you know this is the 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 opening of Pandora's box by the Mormons landing there. You're 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 telling the point of why the bugs attack us because once we 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 go into their environment, they we we have literally opened up Pandora's box and there's no way of shutting it. We can't go. Oh, sorry about the Mormons. We didn't mean it. You know, there's nothing we can do to stop it. They entered their territory and we uh, now they want to destroy us. Now, how hot was it here? We were in Long Beach on that black tarmac. No, that was hot. It was like 100, it was like 100 degrees some yeah. of those days. And we're For running many, around. Many and days in a row. My God. <clears throat> Never in my life have I seen... <laughs> Matt Levin. <laughs> so cool. What a nice guy. <laughs> sorry, no, sir. No, sir. No. Oh. Sorry, sir. The first words and the last words out of your stinking hose. Really? That's one of the funniest guys I know. Yeah. <laughs> that was fantastic. Now, you guys did boot camp and everything for this, right? Yeah, we did uh, 11 days of boot camp. 11 days and it snowed our first day, which was very cold and wet. Yeah, we had, um, we had spring sleeping bags. 
Yeah. When and then we had, we had this. We had hooch, our hooches where we tied knots in our um, our ponchos. ponchos they were like rain and ponchos. You, you put them up against two sticks, and then your your hooch mate, um, which mine was Jake Busey, um, and, he the, <laughs> and he tooted boy, the whole time. Boy, the noise that was coming out of <laughs> oh that tent. Oh, my God. I was like, oh, man, and you didn't want to get I out. I had rough calvis. Spreading. Yeah, you had rough calvis. <laughs> You all right, son? Sir, yes, sir. It's Eric. Oh. I think it's broken. Whoops. <laughs> Eric and Tammy uh, got married, and we just saw a picture of Tammy, too. Who's next? That'd be me. Oh, yeah. Because I got transferred to be next to my man. Yeah, you just love me. I just want to fight with my man. Badass. Look at this woman. Oh. Oh, her eyes goes to Johnny. And he's pissed off. He's a little pissed. Why would so she lie? very deliberately chose this group to be with Johnny? Yeah, clear. Or is that... that I think that's the that's what we wanted to tell, yeah. Uh -huh. But she denies that, doesn't it? She yeah. Of think, course. Yeah, because she's got, you know... Now I'm going to have to kick some She's got some, some pride. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of gal who makes squad leader. There's oh my him. God, you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Garrett Warren did the shot. Garrett got shot. Oh. Help train you. And you did Ooh. awesome, man. That's awesome. Oh, so much fun. Oh. <laughs> I remember Paul saying, okay, make your eyes roll up the, <laughs> roll on the back of your head. Well, you got that more or less, didn't you? <laughs> you looked kind of happy about that, what just happened, didn't you? Yeah, can you, you believe were, it, man? Yeah, you looked uh, Please, satisfied. I, yeah, I like that. my ass kicked. That's, you know, it was a sexual turn on for me. <laughs> Turn, Ace. Hey, hey, easy little soldier. It's all the same, Mark. Get in line like everyone else. I don't think we ever read through the script, isn't it, altogether? <laughs> like you would do in a normal movie. <laughs> we didn't do a read through? No, I, I doubt it. I don't remember. I don't remember reading. No, I think we, we did. did so much testing, perhaps we felt that we had tested, uh, had done most of the scene anyhow as testing, isn't it? It took a long time make, uh, to make a decision about uh, about uh, about yeah, the. You, I, I was gonna, I was gonna, you, most most of the cast didn't get cast until uh, until January or so, and I know I remember I went out for this in October. In fact, I think Neil and I were both cast around the same time. Right. But initially, I was supposed to go out for the part of Carmen. You are. Right. If you remember. Yeah, and but you didn't I, want to do that. I didn't want to do that because I was a typical Dina Mai. She comes into the, <laughs> into into my room and she say, "Well, I, I know you're going to want me to do Carmen, but I refuse to do that." <laughs> I didn't say it like that. I said, if you don't worse, mind, you I'd said like it to worse. I said, I did not. I said, if, if you don't mind, I'd like to read for Dizzy. I just think that'd be, you know, a, a more fun part for me to play. Yeah, no, I thought. I just I, thought I, I had was more. kidding, but we all we thought, oh, that's a smart girl. We thought. So that's why we gave you the role. I, I just I thought the part was more interesting. Well, when I read it, oh, I just thought the great. part was more interesting. Right here, this is Boom. that was nice. No, that's true mm. because it has more. The, the, there is more of a curve to the part than to the. There's more of an arc, and to the Carmen part. Yeah. yeah. And also the fact and plus that I got to I got to play a lot. And you, know? you die, and basically, I die which and is uh, which is nice too. I get the guy. I love this. I understand this. Oh, oh god, do you remember the knife? <laughs> the knife <laughs> throwing. All you gotta do is push a button. Yeah, let's throw knives and throw knives and throw knives, and then we did it. And Jake was actually the best. Jake was the best. Jake was the best. When, and when I auditioned for this, I actually um one of my callbacks for the for the the film. Paul came out of his office and he had a little soccer ball and he just looked at me and I was on the other side of the room and he just dropped the ball and kicked at it oh. as hard as he could. Right oh. in your face or not? Yeah, right at my face. I caught it and you're like, come on! So I kicked it back at him. We started kicking. I knocked the lamp over. No, I knocked. The, I put a dent in the uh, filing cabinet. Then you knocked the lamp over and you're like, great! Let's go in and put this on film. <laughs> he, we, he, so he filmed the uh, audition right after that. I'm all sweaty and everything. Ah, uh, uh, the infamous shower scene. Uh, Don't mean to cut you off. No, much more, <laughs> much more important. Strategically placed poles. How do you remember when, um, when uh, before we started shooting this, everybody was a little embarrassed and like a little reluctant to take their clothes off and do this, and and I think uh, as a way to get us sort of um, uh, going. put it put us more at ease and get us going and to forget about the fact that we're you know well, naked. I, um, Paul made us sort of get acquainted <laughs> with one another for about uh, ten or fifteen minutes before shooting. And, but, uh, but it didn't work. It didn't work out. And actually, no. It, it, 
Yeah. No. Well, no, yeah, actually, no, because I remember what happened with, with you. <laughs> he said something like, oh, it's the big deal. You Americans, you make such a big deal out of getting naked. I don't understand. And I had said, well, well, it's, if it's not such a big deal, well, let's, let's see. You just dropped your pants there, Mr. Hotshot. That was you, Adina, that said that. That was me. Yes, that it was said Dina it. that said that. And, and it was Paul that did it. Zip. Paul drops it, and, we, and, and we're all like, ah, Dina, <laughs> why'd you have to go and no, do that? And you're like, I didn't but think it did do it. But it didn't stop there, though, because then he got Yost to, yeah, to, to Yost. play along. Yost, too. <laughs> I mean, the interesting thing is that we all kept our mouths about what happened there, and the only person, basically, the piece of people that started to talk about it were the people that were not there, which was, <laughs> which was uh, Car Denise and, and Patrick, isn't it? That's yeah. the, they were the first one that gave it to the press. Yeah, now, it's still ass, haunting Catherine. me, of course, that I did that. I was a stunt dad. As, a, as an example, <laughs> further example of my perversity and decadence. That narcissistic clan of actors worked out every single friggin' day for months before that naked shower scene. Yes, we did. <laughs> yes, we did. And actually, Jake and oh, I came in. Oh, I was gonna say, we you and Jake, with, you had like you had extensions yeah, on. Yeah, we had. We're down almost to our ankles. We had we had extensions on. We tied on they extensions. Had, like, they had like these rubber. <laughs> we first came in. Prosthetic things. Yes. Who knows? They might even make me squall. And uh, Jake playing the violin. Now look at how. Taught by. Paul's look at how wife. red. Wait a second. Doesn't somebody like moon? And you can see the hand marks. On his yeah, butt yeah, already. Yeah, yeah, on, 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 uh, on his ass, basically, when he... Yeah, he <laughs> because it was take 10 or something. <laughs> right, his ass was all red. Right. <laughs> because I liked it so much. They said, do it again, do it again, do it again. Amy, Amy smart. smart. She was supposed to be bald. She was, wasn't she? Was she was supposed to be the bald well, cadet. Was, both were supposed to be bald, but the, 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 the actresses didn't want to lose their hair, so we did it. Uh, we tried to find uh, some hair... hair Putting their hair in a kind of a sophisticated modern way, but it's all the women were supposed to be bald. I wish in the my original head script, uh, the, the people that were at the academy, yes. Yeah. Wow. She's so happy. She's like the happy pilot. It's like Disney's Star Tours. <laughs> it is. It's great. I keep waiting for the robot to pop up. <laughs> Uh oh, the Death effects Star. Are, the effects are so good in this movie. <laughs> yeah, it is phenomenal. Going in the Death Star. Because all the effects are digital, it's such a great movie to watch on DVD. It because is. it transfers so well to yeah, a smaller it screen. I, I couldn't believe it. In fact, I mean, the, the surroundings that you see here are, are kind of all miniatures. It's only the little vehicle there that you see flying around is a digital one. Hmm. This was all all big models, basically, that they built. Uh, the whole thing was a model? Even the earth, the, even the, the the background of the No, that was moon? a photograph, the, 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 the moon landscape. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's some, uh, uh, something that they took from uh, from a photograph. Layered in later. And then, and then curved it around, three-dimensional around uh, a sphere, so that it looks, uh, that it looks kind of uh, three dimensional but it was a flat photograph interesting mm, the roger young <laughs> we're not in any of these scenes brenda strong yeah, yeah we're not in, but we'll talk about him brenda strong, about she's, about, she's about six foot five and she's all woman she's just beautiful she's great she's awesome and in real life she's just stunning too she's just she's so tall and elegant looking Surprise! Dun, dun, dun. How you doing? Patrick Muldoon. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? We couldn't find anybody for the part, and then Denise said, Oh, I have a f somebody that I know pretty well. <laughs> I think this pe uh, his name is Patrick Muldoon. Perhaps you can take him. Really? I didn't know that. Patrick's great, though. He's, he's the perfect amount of smarmy, kind of... <laughs> Cheesy, but, yet But also smart. a leader, you know? Mm -hmm. he, he's great. I love him. Crazy girl coming through the academy. Solid math, a little wild on the stick, but a natural. And when it turned out to be you, I just made sure that we would run into each other. Roger Young, cleared for undocking and departure. All right, Abanis. Take her out. Yes, ma'am. All systems go. Simulation. 
wish my supervisors could never keep up. No, this isn't a simulation anymore, so take her out easy. Cadet. Yes, sir. Cadet. Oh, yeah, I get her. <laughs> they, they, they uh, the close. Yeah, the fleet gets the uh, blue screen and the green screens. They get all the green screens. Um, Everybody's always, during the special effects shots, they're always saying, well, what's it like to work up against the green screens? And more or less, what we had was dirt. We, we more yeah. or less shot at dirt, and that's all we, we had. When we see all the bugs coming at us later and stuff, there, there was There's no, nothing there. There's no green screens. <laughs> the only thing we ever got was like Paul Verhoeven coming. With a stick. A stick and, <laughs> and a tennis yelling, ball. Going, the bugs, the bugs, bugs, mm -hmm. bugs. This insane man, because if it wasn't going right, he'd just came and, and yell, yell at us as Shall loud as possible. Shall I leave the room with better, easier? No. No way. It's more fun to watch you <laughs> squirm. <laughs> it's never because you can speak out even freer then. <laughs> no. Well, we had loaded weapons, and it's like you're running in front of us, and we're all like, don't do that. We want, you know. I'm the bug, kill me! But conversely, it must have been very hard to, as an actor, when all these bugs, these bugs you can't see are running at you, to have the appropriate amount of angst and energy and, and concern, you know. See, I actually, see, I actually had one up, um, up, one leg up over all of you guys because I had done Dragonheart right before this. So ah. I was dealing with a giant dragon that wasn't there. Yeah. But I must say, basically, I, after that, I did Hollow Man with, with, with where Kevin Bacon was, it was invisible, and I thought that we would do that the same way that we did Starship Troopers, that we would add them in post-production. But then the special effect people t uh, convinced me that he should be there on the set in a green suit that we painted out later. Wow. We met it out. But on the, uh, it's true that you get, for the actors, it's so much easier if there's something there, you know? You get so much... I, I think it was a gi gigantic difference between the two ways of operating be, uh, t for you to do everything without anybody around, without any insects, without uh, n getting any feeling for what, what it was supposed to be, isn't it? Yeah. And just imagining vaguely what it was. And, and having Kevin Bacon a, a, on Sorry the set it. and working with the other actors was much easier. Now, what, I always want to know, what, what exactly is the flip six three hole? I mean, I know it's a play, obviously. It's what we. <laughs> I don't think anybody knew that, really. <laughs> like, yeah. Run a flip, one, run a flip six three hole. Hey, listen, you were the quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought this, I, was yeah, I, saw, I was like, what? What? Ex okay, and I see you do a flip, but what was the three hole thing? Well, that's where I landed, I guess. Three. In all honesty, I don't think it had any meaning. But <laughs> so, a, a lot of the things that the, Ed Newmeyer invented were just because they sounded good, you know, <laughs> so it's not because they had much meaning. I thought it was some kind of... Run a flip six three hole and you'll score. Yeah, Kama man. Sutra. Thanks. Sexual Kama pose. Sutra. Yeah. <laughs> this was uh, shot because we got rained out. We got rained out, so this was one of our cover sets. Right, the other cover set was our... Uh, I love scene. Our love, love scene. scene. So where was this filmed? In Casper, Wyoming. Interesting. In, uh, in one of their stages, or <laughs> whatever that was. <laughs> Train station. And, yeah, uh, Friends. Friends. <laughs> Oh, this is the infamous uh, Dear John letter. Dear Johnny letter. This technology is actually happening. Yeah. Little discs that mm -hmm. have memory on them and full motion video. And Paul invented it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish Thanks, I Paul. did, you guys, then I wouldn't be here anymore. <laughs> I just got a webcam. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> What's the address? Oh. <laughs> What's the address? I'll give it to you later. <laughs> To talk to me. Yeah. See? When you shot the scene, when we shot the scene, I think um, uh, we didn't have anything to look at, isn't it? You looked at just at the blue screen here. Yeah, it? just the blue yeah. screen. It was completely nothing there. So you shot this side first. We shot this, yes. but we also shot yeah. the, the you know see my face in the in the screen that was against the blue. Oh. So we actually had that just as a blue screen, and I. You see the face of Casper then in the reflection. In fact, that was something that we used from the from from your side, and that they 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 projected into the. Over the blue screen, kind of over over the shot of uh, of Carmen. Yeah. I know that's not what you wanted to hear, but uh, I have to follow. This was one of the really important, uh, t um, let's say, um, audition scenes that I used uh, to decide who would be uh, Carmen. This little monologue that she has ha has here. You can see why she got the part. Yeah. <laughs> She's great.
Funny how they always want to be friends after they rip your guts out, huh? Yeah. That's what I deserve. What are you Taking his potato launcher. <laughs> <laughs> that was so crazy. He, I mean, I'd never even heard of a potato launcher before. I'd a, never heard of one either. Potato launcher? And we're shooting it off in, in, like in Hell's Half Acre. I know. Just shooting a potato Cannons. launcher. Cannons. He made potato a potato cannon, cannon of some sort <laughs> while they were in Casper, PVC Wyoming, pipes. out of boredom. <laughs> and we'd go and get bags of potatoes and shoot <laughs> load it with raw potato and shoot potatoes everywhere. <laughs> We had to guitar. find a way to amuse ourselves. And sneaking at the beacon. Sneaking it's quite at a, the beacon. a crazy scene here because <clears throat> they're going to shoot with uh, real ammunition, but everybody's running around in the background. So I <laughs> 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 we didn't have um, enough money to se to separate this 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 little um, place from the rest of the camp. I never so thought about that. You can <laughs> yeah, see yeah. everywhere. Look, look at all these people in the background. Everybody's running around doing other exercises. <laughs> and they shoot shooting even sharp. <laughs> like, <laughs> just completely idiotic, in fact. Oh, my God. I never even noticed that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just thought it was more It was an economic measure, you know, it, I, because we couldn't afford to, sh to build it somewhere else. We had to build it in this, uh, in this area. Well, we're fleet. We're expendable. I mean, we're um, yeah, infantry. Yeah, yeah. Right, true. These yeah, guys troopers. are married now. Yeah, yeah. She she blows his head off, and then they get married. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 how you do it. It's like the praying They're mantis. They're married now. Yes. Really? Yeah. But the praying mantis, you know, before oh. it has sex. Oh, that's great. Wow. Before it has sex, the female rips the head off of the male. W were their uh, the relationship started here? Yeah, I think they got it from praying mantis. Rico, did you give the recruit permission to remove his helmet? Sir, yes, sir. Breckenridge reported a helmet malfunction, and I asked him to show it to me, sir. Are you rated to repair the M3 I like this guy. Rico. Yeah, he's a mutant in uh, Total Recall. Yeah. That's you use a lot of your from. actors again, over and over again. You do that. Um, I try to. Yeah. I, I think that's fun, you know, especially when you can give them things that are not completely the same, that you can just change them around. I mean... In my Dutch movies, I, I, I did that much more than here. Be here it's very difficult because actors are often gone when you want them, isn't it? There's so many movies here in Holland. There were so little movies that you could always use the same the same people because they didn't have much other things to do. They were <laughs> mostly theater actors. Hmm. Which is, uh, you see that also in, the, in all these movies of Ingmar Bergman, hmm. where he uses, I think, continuously over all the movies he did, I think uh, at the maximum, 25 actors. Wow. Always the same. Hey, were any of you in uh, Hollow Man? No, no, mm -hmm. sadly not. No, no, no. Uh, no. Not me either. Didn't get that call. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the whipping scene. Yes. G.I. Joe how much, was how there. Much, how much were you working out for this scene? A real American hero. I worked out for this hero. entire film. I know, but you, but you <laughs> because when I first met you in January or February when you were first starring, you were lumpy. I was 165. You were lumpy. I was 165, and here and I'm 150. And all of a sudden, you started with the Thai bow aerobicizing. We'd work yep. like 17-hour days, and then Casper would be like, okay, guys, I'm going to go Thai bow. Yeah, well, I had to. You were eating all this crazy... Steak? Like, he'd eat three steaks for lunch? <laughs> Even if we were working nights, and lunch was at 2 a.m.? Hey, you know, I saw, I saw on eBay, they, yeah, were selling, I saw as they... they were selling that thing that your mouth piece... Really? That you... <laughs> No yeah. way. Hey, you put your mouth on. <laughs> they sell them everything. Bitten by Casper <laughs> Van Dien. Blood <laughs> is still on it. Yeah. I have people call me up and, and, and tell me how much they... I had somebody send me death from above tattoos. Really? A wow. fan sent me death from above tattoos. He goes, here's some for your kids. I go, thanks. <laughs> death from above tattoos for my children. Look at that spread. <laughs> S and N. And literally, as I, I hung there, my hands got cut up on the uh, things, and then uh, Vic... Uh, but it hurt so good, though, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it did. It hurt so good. I love <laughs> that, man. That's right. Oh, yeah. Did you see that look? I was feeling his pain. Yes, I, no, I was feeling I saw his that. pain there. If only I had seen that look, I might have, you know, gone for you <laughs> over... Uh, <laughs> Carmen, I would have forgot about her a lot earlier. <laughs> and now, in the Roger Young, in the book... The, the the men and the women are uh, separated completely. Yeah. That's something that you went the opposite in, in, in from Heinlein completely, which was I thought was was better because we had the shower scene, which there's no uh, there was no like sexuality there. Yeah, no. whatsoever. No, it would it would say basically if you're a fascist, you don't need sex anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another scene we're not in. So. Uh, but they have great hair. 
great, <laughs> great black suits. <laughs> Those were rubber suits. I think they, they, they complained that they were sweating all the time. And uh, I told them to more or less go to hell because they were out in uh, Wyoming with us. Now, how come you never really see them get together, Paul? Well. Because I think, wasn't there a scene in, in, the, in the script originally where they did have a love scene? <laughs> there, there is a little bit indication of that um, in, in, um, in, in the scenes that were taken out. Oh. So I think on the BV DVD they will certainly have these scenes in, and you can see a little bit that there is a bit more, uh, yeah, that they pr probably consummated their affair. Yes. I like that you don't see it though, because it would make the audience turn on Carmen. Because if she consummated a relationship with him, it would seem like she was. Yeah, but that's cool. It gives more depth. I, I would have liked it if they. Well, seen I mean, it's more of the imagination. From a, from no, a, I, I from like a, that they still uh, showed it. Existentialist point of view, oh, yeah. of course, it, it, it was better. It turned out that the audience, when we previewed it, hated that fact so much that they were yelling and screaming through the two scenes that indicated that she uh, that she had an affair with 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 Patrick. Yeah, it makes her. It vilifies her. Well, although, although she wrote him a letter that she that she basically didn't and want then, to be with him. And then and you, then, and then right. you see. So Patrick's she seemed to be completely in in, in, in a righteous position. Right. Hmm. But the audience couldn't stand it. They were whistling and screaming and yelling throughout both scenes. Were they hmm. doing that with mine and Casper's love scene also? No, that was fine. Uh, they that's weren't whistling, fine. hooting and hollering? I mean, that he would go <laughs> to another girlfriend was fine, of course. Right, of course. But that a woman would make that decision, that was intolerable. Right. <laughs> oh, man, that's not right. That would have been cool to see it anyhow. Just would have been... No, I mean, it, uh, yeah, but you don't want your film to be whistled at <laughs> of, a couple of times during the projection, is it? Well, I think it depends on the kind of whistling. Yeah. Well, this, this was <laughs> extremely negative. Okay. I mean, you know, I, I think I said it in the commentary, but when we caught the cards after the after the, uh, the first screening, it was really on the cards, in big letters, it was, kill the bitch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Kill or kill the slut. Wow. <laughs> No, I just, I mean, you couldn't believe it, you know. That Strong people, I reaction. couldn't imagine being from Europe that people would be so, um, yeah, nearly macho about, about what a woman uh, can do and what a woman cannot do. Hmm. But you put it back in in the DVD. I put it back in to show what happened, yes. Yeah. But I didn't put it in in the, f in the I, I, no, I, I gave it a separate it would, scene. It would be yeah. too, too expensive. I remember at one point in time after this film came out, the, after the first weekend, and they were like, well, we, y you guys were contemplating actually going down to a PG-13. Yes. Well, we made, we made a PG-13, and in fact, we realized that to change this, this R-rated movie to a PG-13 would be not a, a very difficult operation. And that's made it very, uh, in retrospect, very silly of all of us studio and 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 uh, mm -hmm. let's say the creative people together that we wouldn't have done that from the beginning hmm. it turned out that by some simple cuts and you would lose perhaps 15 20 seconds altogether out of the whole movie hmm. he would have had the pg-13 hmm. so it was an idiotic decision to uh, uh to do an, an r but we never i think we never um, thought about the alternative till of course we start to realize when the movie came out that we had basically um, shot in our own foot, really. I mean, commercially, not, uh, not yeah. artistically, clearly. It? From an artistic point of view, it's fine. I remember that also the New York Times did a, a test where they, they put a 1,000 kids, uh, they, they got a 1,000 uh, 13 and 14-year-olds um, to go buy tickets to Mr. Bean and then sneak into Starship Troopers and see if they could do it. And all 1,000 of them were able to do that. I think a lot of people did that. Yeah. I really do. Yeah, but they paid Mr. Bean then, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. they paid Mr. Bean. <laughs> and then the next weekend... It didn't, didn't come to, to our grocers, really, that yeah. amount of money. Well, the next weekend, because I, I went out the first two weekends, and I gave books out and, and stuff like that of Starship Troopers to the kids at, at, uh, at the... Um, at the city walk and stuff like that, wow. I went around, and kids <laughs> kids were buying tickets to the Little Mermaid too. You are um, something else. I was, I was, a, I was so it's much like fun. Like giving up autographed photos of himself. Here you go. Come see the movie. Come see the movie. Standing no, out were, in the were, parking they lot. Were the, uh, they were the books. They were Starship I'm Casper Troopers. Van Dien. I am. I have. I have. Go see your movie. And Go come see, see your movie. Rowan. Who? I'm Casper Van Dien. Maybe you're seeing me at Starship Troopers playing. Oh, I just get him to go see it. <laughs> 
Yeah, you know, word. But they were uh, they were buying tickets to Little Mermaid too, and then uh, asking me for my autograph, and so I was like, "Why don't you just buy them the tickets? Why don't you buy you them the tickets? You should just bought the tickets. Cost as much as the book. <laughs> no, the books were free. Oh, right. This is my favorite line in the whole movie. Goddamn bugs whacked us, John. <laughs> <laughs> I rewind it and play right here. Here it comes. Goddamn bugs See, I, th I think my favorite line is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. I think my favorite line is... <laughs> they sucked his brains out. They sucked his brains out, yeah. <laughs> right, Chad. They sucked his brains out. Goddamn bugs and then whacked us, Johnny. And then, and then the other one is, it's afraid. It's, it's afraid! afraid. <laughs> <laughs> it's alive. I like how they destroy Wiped Buenos Aires. The earth. Is that the, no, the that's Malibu fires? The Malibu, yes, fires. The Malibu <laughs> fires. And they, they are. Is it? Yeah, absolutely. No doubt. Oh, how great. <laughs> oh, I mean, not, not great, but I mean, I, I, didn't, I didn't even realize it. Just yeah. I mean, some of the close up has, I think, some other stuff. But the, the big fires on the mountains, that's all Malibu, yeah. Clancy Brown, just so cool. He's great. Yeah, he's such you a ever see him guy. in Bad Boys? Yeah, that's what, that's what I, I, and since I saw that movie, which is about nearly 20 years ago or something, yeah. Yeah. I always remembered him, and that's why I, I asked him to do this part, based on that part. Really? That's a long time ago, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's a great movie. I thought it was, a, it was such a great part that he did there. That was with Sean Penn, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. And yeah. Isai Morales. Yeah. Yeah, he's such a cool guy. But, uh, yeah, he was also good in uh, Highlander, too. Right. I never saw that. In Highlander? Mm -mm. Well, he was the bad guy in Highlander, and Michael Ironside was the bad guy in Highlander, too. All right. So. <laughs> Doesn't look like it to me. Carry on, Frank. Yes, sir. Out of the ashes of Buenos Aires comes first sorrow, then anger. <laughs> Dead. 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 That's our producer. <laughs> yeah, John. <laughs> <laughs> There's a strange thing in this country with, with dogs, isn't it? <laughs> Dead dogs. You mean you should... The, the fights I had were because of the killing of the dog in the Hollow Man. I mean, that was... Wow. Ah, people hated that. The dog. Who is this guy, Paul? And, and, and honestly, I don't remember no. his name, but... Um, but he was a nice guy. He was good, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he... Anyhow, you know, he would get to, basically, to know Carl a little bit better. Did you get to keep those boots, Neil? Did I? <laughs> this was my big macho gun shooting scene. You had to do push-ups if die, die was here. What? Can I call it a gun? Yeah. <laughs> That was my last thing that I filmed in this movie. Was it? That was an expression at the end. <laughs> 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 it looks like evil. Don't I fuck mean, it's with foreboding. <laughs> it's foreboding the future, I think. <laughs> what about these bugs, Paul? Was yeah, they were not alive, I think. <laughs> 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 not what did you just got through them? I don't know. We just tricked the audience a little bit there, you know. Deep inside the arachnid quarantine, where the men and women of the federal armed services. To attack. Uh, Captain Dale Dye was the uh, military coordinator on this uh, this film, um, and, uh, and many others. In fact, I think he did. also did um, Private Ryan. In and fact. He, he did Platoon, and he did uh, Born on the Fourth of July. He's he's used in many many military films. An incredibly nice, loyal, tough guy. He's just great. Mm. He's awesome. Here, of course, you get the feeling that uh, that there is somebody that has an idea what happened in the past, and that was not really the 
the, the, the bugs that started it hit, but you overrule him, Casper, overruling completely by saying, you know, let's uh, let's kill them all. Yeah. So you have now slowly, part are you partic participant in the kind of general um, meat that is constructed that um, that the bugs have started to uh, attack Earth, although the intrusion started on the other side. Yeah. Pandora's box open with the Mormons landing. But I, I definitely get caught up in the... Uh, being your typical American. Typ typical, anyhow, auto autocratic, uh, autoritarian system, I would say. Hmm. I mean, be it any big nation, or, I mean... Uh, uh, England, anybody that's willing to sacrifice their, their youth, their yeah, innocence. Because of, 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 of the wonderful uh, thing that have to be achieved, the sacrifices of everybody. It's worth it, and, and, and Neil makes that point later. But it's still, if, if for, a, for a country, always a hard thing, I think, you know, to sacrifice. Your Especially for Americans, for example, that had to fight in, uh, in Europe, which then there was not much to th that was too important to them there, isn't it? Yeah. Not much to gain in those wars. Well, there was a very in important principle, I would say, in the Second World War, but uh, it's still difficult to send your, your, your child your to, to that war. To I die, yeah. My mother's father died. Yeah? Yeah. When she was 18. Thank you. It's kind of a classic scene, that I think, isn't it? Yeah. I love that you chose Mazzy Star. Huh? Yeah. The music. Right. Yeah, that the music gr great grows, song. Uh, grows louder and mm -hmm. louder <laughs> when they start fighting. You got something to say about the mobile infantry? I think you heard me. You want to make something of it? Private? Not with an officer. No, sir. The MI doesn't mean stupid troopers. Let's I love this. I think it took me like 42 times to do this one take. I kept mi it missing because you're so freaking tall. <laughs> Looks good. Yeah. But. All right, on one of these takes, he dropped me on my head. <laughs> And then another tip, and he's like, so sorry. And the next time he overcompensated and missed the table completely, and I landed on an apple box on my back. Mm. And I had never done a, a, a backflip before, but Garrett Warren, he was like, egged me on enough, and Dickie Beer, and... and it's, pre it's pretty dangerous because your, uh, your backbone is really rolling over the edge of the table there. Isn't it? Yeah. But I, I didn't know I could do one of those either. Yeah, but I got him good. <laughs> Jarhead? Jarhead, yeah. Oh, we're drunk here. <laughs> we're crazy drunk mobile infantry men and here. Women. Well, you're a woman. Yeah, but basically, okay. it, the interesting thing is that she <laughs> well, not in the book. That you cannot really <laughs> say too much that she's a woman. It's like she's just a soldier, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah. I mean, you fit so well, I think that's completely that's inside inside the whole group, isn't it? It's not that you think, oh, these are women, these are men. Yeah, it we're feels that they're all kind of the same. Right. It's like the well, that's what I think that's what you were trying to get across with the whole shower scene. Like, people have asked me, like, well, what, what was the point of that? What were you, just to get a bunch of people naked in the... No, I don't think that's what it was at no. all. I think it was to prove a point. To say like we are all considered equal at this point. Right, and nobody looks anymore at uh, uh, from a sexual point of view. It's 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 not. I mean, not that it's completely realistic. It is a utopia, right, of, of course. course but um. uh, that was President Ford's son. That is, eh? Yeah. Stephen Ford. Stephen Ford. President Ford's son. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony. He's got that new show. I saw him on television or somewhere. Yeah. Is that th yeah. Third Watch or something like that? Is it shooting in New York or is it yeah. shooting in LA? Yeah, because he's from New York. <laughs> Going down. That was like a sympathy smile. Yeah, no, that was it's really like nice doing me a your, favor. Dina. I'm trying to be all supportive I, yeah. and. I'm here for you, baby, and you're all, yeah, whatever. Whatever. 
Give me yeah, fleet. Right. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Give me the fleet. She is, girl. she is very warm hearted in the movie, isn't uh, she? As a yeah, character. Yeah, don't don't you, it's, it's kind of amazing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what <laughs> happened there. I, I, I am implying that, uh, that no, no, I'm, no, a very, I'm, a, I'm an extraordinary actress. Yes. Uh, well, I'm really, uh, I'm really a cold certainly, uh, uh, no doubt that you <laughs> could act. No doubt that you're a good actress. Is yeah. that what you're trying to say, Paul? Well, you're I mean, I think that's a good interpretation me. of what I said. That hurts me. It hurts me that you feel this way. He's lying, folks. He's lying. No. I I'm mean, a nice, uh, sweet, fragile woman. Is what I am. I'm, 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 I'm fragile. I'm like a flower. Uh, no, well, I'm that down. I didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> random or light. Someone made a mistake. That's it. We're empty, ma'am. Someone made a big goddamn mistake. Oh, Clendathu Knights. Oh, this was amazing. That, that was a famous shot. You used that shot in all your teaser trailers and everything. That yes, they did. Ship yeah. coming down. Well, because it's so close to the to the landings in Normandy, isn't it? Ah, yeah. interesting. I think it's it's based on uh, on on the uh, on the newsreels of Normandy. Can we just tell the audience just um, how how hard this was to do that we were doing here, Casper? I mean, first of all, we're wearing armor that's I, I guess tolls tol about thirty 32 pounds. pounds. Thir 32 oh, pounds. Oh, thirty-two pounds plus the weapon. Twenty-two pounds. Okay, so an extra. For our weapons, the rubber ones were two pounds, three pounds. Okay, so whatever you got about forty about forty extra pounds on you. Plus we're at an eight thousand foot altitude, so the air's a little bit thinner there. Yeah. It's. You know, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and we're running up these hills and take after take, take after take. take. <laughs> okay, back to one, back to one. Oh my God, we gotta do it again. We gotta do these it again. These bugs were not here. <laughs> Thank no you. No real own. bugs were. Th no real one. bugs. <laughs> we're hurt during the filming of this picture. Yeah, only computer bugs. Only really bad computer bugs. It must have been exhausting, yeah. It was ex extremely oh exhausting, we, but we had the uh, right here afterwards. We got what we got covered in what that white powdery stuff, and they didn't even use it. Remember? That's right. That's right. We, we, we got covered like ghosts. All this white powder that shot over, and then we didn't do it. We didn't even use the, the white powdery powder. I got covered. Mm -hmm. I look like Casper the Friendly Ghost. Like what you got on your uh, left bicep It was out there. of continuity, I think. Yeah, it was totally out of con continuity, so we couldn't use it. This was... It was amazing, because sometimes it would get really cold, and it would get really hot. And you're shooting nothing. Not nothing. nothing. <laughs> yeah. Shooting at nothing. No, you're shooting at nothing, but you're shooting ammunition. Oh, all right, on top of all. Yeah. And so right next to each right other. Right next to each other. So the person behind is is shooting. Well, it was that was often the kind of. Uh, we got dangerous. shot all yeah. the time. I yeah. remember one time. I mean, time not the really dangerous, but you get stuff in your eyes and stuff like that. Yeah. That's, that you, so you have to. Yeah, everybody has to stand in a certain way that it cannot happen, isn't it? But if you have, if there's so much action, you forget. Exactly. It's hard. No, it's, that, it's almost Paul, impossible. Paul, you always wanted to get so, a bunch of us in a shot together, and you want yeah. us all shooting. You wanted like four or five of us in, in right, on like, screen at like the same that time. Right, like shot there. Yeah. And there's no way to not get shot because yeah. you're shot here. So it was always good. Uh, it was getting into your cheek and stuff like Actually, that. Actually, remember the back of my arm had gotten. Yeah, you right. got, got a bunch back of your like. Arm and different people got different things. Someone got. Death well, no, almost. nothing ever happened. Oh, yeah, well, I shot Jake. Well, I didn't shoot him, but what happened was he didn't have ear protection in one day when we were doing some of our, um, uh, some oh. of, uh, we were shooting in, in the canyon or something, and I shot a little bit too close to him and blew out his ear. Well, <laughs> he wasn't really happy about it. Ah, oh, good times. <laughs> <laughs> good times oh, the fun. good old times. Uh, He's forgiven me since. Is he? Wow. We're good friends now, yeah. So what uh, are these? Could you, how do you do those shots? This is digital. Uh, uh, digi uh, the white shot is digital. I oh, mean, wow. the, the, I mean, this Katrina the person, falls in a pit. The person that is rolling around there, so the Shushumi character, uh -huh. is uh, digital. 
Wow. So Do you the know? Editor that one guy had a, the one guy was an amputee. He had a, a stunt guy with a. Yeah, the one before. Oh, yeah. interesting. Do you remember yeah. this on the call sheet? It says Katrina falls into the pit. <laughs> yes. Katrina. And there she is in the pit. And they didn't like this. In the, they thought it was too uh, was graphic. That? Wasn't it more graphic? Didn't you film? Did you just film her being drug away, or did you film her no, getting I, killed? I, no, no, no. That was the end of it. No. Uh -huh. I think there is not too much uh, graphic stuff taken out. Stuff. <laughs> it's mostly uh, as we shot it, what you see. I think it's funny that we call these things boats. Yeah. Like little ships, more like, but not. But they are ship, <laughs> like some ship boats. <laughs> <laughs> like there were a couple of things that we had to change ship, because of the boat. MPA, because in the in the first rating we got an uh, uh, an NC-17, hmm. so we had to shorten a couple of things and make it a bit less bloody. Hmm. But it was not that difficult, really. This is all on location in Hell's Half Acre. Yeah. Which you should describe that, Casper. Doesn't they have like the highest suicide rate? In, it, yeah, the highest, because and it was the, also the strep, the wind? <laughs> strep uh, capital of the, of the states. I, I was told that the wind um, um, makes people um, want to kill themselves, or, or do. They do kill themselves because of the wind. Yeah, there's they actually had postcards at, at the cafe in Hell's Half Acre where you see somebody <laughs> like flying sideways holding on to a, a, a telephone post and it says, wind? Question mark? What wind? But it's amazing. You're, you're driving through Casper, Wyoming, which is Completely fields, flat. green, everything is right. very serene, and cows and pastures, and then you come upon this Hell's Half Acre, this giant hole Pit. in the mm -hmm. ground that it is this that is just, and these are all it's like, a small it's like Grand mud Canyon. and it's it, the only only thing that's there is yeah. for i mean for the rest it's all green and 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 and, and flat land and then, and then there's this <laughs> idiotic <laughs> Pit there, and pit, of, <laughs> pit of hell. Yeah, yeah, and perfect. part of it would get it would get like really cold in the morning, and then it would warm up, and then it would get rainy, and then it would get sunny and hot, and then it would get cold again. It was it, you know oh, part of the it was, rain there. Uh, when it rained that one time. I got moving all this stuff changed. out. In this scene, we changed it when the, when he gets attacked by the uh, by the by the arachnid, and the thing goes through his leg. I think we changed that a little bit for the MPA because they felt that it was too gruesome. Yeah. Here, yeah, here's where I'm shooting, up, and, and I shot right through the camera. Yeah. You shot through the camera? Yeah. Wait. Seems like. Oh yeah, yeah. Basically, <laughs> yeah. The, uh, you shot the hole the, because we had plastic basically to protect the cameraman oh. and everybody, but you blew right through the plastic. Wow. Went right through Fortunately, the plastic. Fortunately, there was nobody there Say, at that did point. Did it damage the camera? Huh? Yes. Did it damage the camera? Yeah. It uh, damaged broke the, the lens. Cam camera. Absolutely. Yeah. Broke I the mean, lens. the lens, the protective layer of the lens was was uh, yeah was broken. Well, just the protective layer, not like. I think we couldn't use the, the lens anymore either because it was scratched or something. Those cameras I mean, are pretty expensive, aren't they? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it yeah but it's, it's, uh, mostly these things are insured, of course. Sky Marshal Tahat Maru outlines her new strategy. To fight the bug, we must understand the bug. We can ill... <laughs> <laughs> So this is where you establish oh, the, the brain left. bug, the potential of a brain bug. There was in. the idea to to bring in something, yeah, to to prepare the audience for that there was some intelligence. higher intelligence than than what we have seen till now. Yeah, I love him. So funny. <laughs> she steps on his foot. Yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> she, just she, hits she hits his foot. Yeah. Frankly, I find the idea of a bug that thinks offensive. Offensive. And yet true. Great shot. Great music, too. Yeah. Ticonderoga, this is Roger Young requesting approach vector. A lot of people ask me why we didn't use that woohoo song um, from, uh, that was Blur. done in the trailer. Blur. Blur. Yeah, from the trailer. A lot of people ask me why we didn't use that because they thought it was... Um, a lot of people kept yelling when they went to the theater. They wanted it. Oh, I see. Well, uh, because we didn't use any any because it was supposed to be in the future, isn't it? Yeah. The whole uh, the whole film. So to use a, a contemporary song inside in the movie felt like awkward to me. And for the trailer, it seemed to be okay, but for the movie itself, uh, you would have this. This is supposed to be situated in a couple of hundred years, isn't it? And then to have a, a, a film, a, a song that is of 1999 seemed a bit weird. Yeah, the only contemporary type songs you used were the ones yeah. at the dance, but those were written by... Yeah, we changed them even. One was by David Bowie, and the other one was written by um, by the girl that sings them, yeah. which is the daughter of uh, Bessel Polyduris, the, the composer. Oh. Who's a good friend of yours. Huh? 
Isn't he a good friend of yours? Yes. Well, he did. Uh, he did uh, two other movies. He did Flesh and Blood for me and uh, Robocop. Oh. oh yeah, this is great. I love the scene when you come up. When I'm in the tank. Oh yeah, that was fun. In the Luke Skywalker tank. <laughs> Denise when, was really good when in you're that sleeping scene. Sleeping in the water. <laughs> yeah, here here was the love scene. After that, there was a little love scene between. Uh, between um, Denise and, and Patrick, when Patrick starts to console her and then uses the moment to uh, to sleep with her <laughs> when she's in distress. And that was something that the audience, the, the preview audience could not accept. I mean, somehow they felt that Denise, although she had said that she didn't want you anymore, should still be always yours. And the fact that she would even, that she would even consider another guy was kind of promiscuous for the audience. Yeah. In this scene, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't see, uh, I couldn't really see them. I could see the outline of them. I couldn't read the the words in the water. Um, but uh, but I hope we, to we told you. Yeah, we you know you told me. You, I could hear you guys. How did you All not right. let the water go up your nose? I just there. kept a little bit of bubbles in my in my nose. I'm a, a I'm a scuba. I was a scuba diver when I'm, I was. In I, I even with a regulator. So I, I, I never to went into the sinoid sinoid. I mean, no, I kept a little bit of bubble and bubbles in my nose. That's all I did. Oh, that's good. I still would have the. I, I still would want to suck. Was it claustrophobic to sit there in that thing nose. or not? Well, uh, for as long as you guys had me in there, yeah, <laughs> that was kind of wild. And it was, it, it was fun though. I liked it. I mean, you're. You're giving us an opportunity. Most of us, uh, except for Dina, had, hadn't been in, in, in big films yet. So this was, you know, there wasn't much I was going to complain about. <laughs> there was, I was Thank you very much. <laughs> it was already be... difficult enough, isn't it? Uh, oh. Angela Brockman. Which is unbelievable. Angie. Who's yeah. got long hair now. She's got the crazy weave happening. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. What is she doing? Um, she's actually she's actually going to school to get a real estate license. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Wow! Yeah, because she's, she's a dancer. Yeah, isn't she it? was dancing a lot. She was in Mystery Men. Set. Yeah. Um, um, set. I thought I saw in New York. Set's doing a lot ago. of theater. That's a great hit. I thought I saw it on Fifty Seventh Street actually, right by Carnegie Hall. But I was in a cab and I was driving by and. Sure, sure, Dina. <laughs> This was shot back here in uh, in uh, in Los Angeles again. It's all studio, set, yeah. yeah. But um, some of the extras yeah. actually came back from Casper, Wyoming, just to be a part of the movie still. Right. So they really were into it, which was amazing. Yeah, they, they came back with us, isn't it? And yeah, they, they lived they here with friends or whatever, so that they conti con could continue to uh, to work on the uh, yeah on the uh, movie. All yeah. all on their own expense. They all did it. They're all like, we want to be in. Well, they got paid, but they yeah. they didn't get paid as like. But not uh, for their uh, not for their lodging or whatever. Oh, really? No. No, they got only the day the, 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 what you get when you are doing the work of an extra for a day. Yeah, yeah. and they drove all the way out here or flew out here and and found lodging. There is no more perfect casting in this movie than Michael Ironside. Yeah, <laughs> he is so he perfect. He is for penultimate. That. Carry on. Okay. This is this amazing. 104 degrees. Wow. Unbelievable. Down here. We were... We were dying. <laughs> At one point, we had, we had done a scene... Well, we'll get to it. But we had done that scene so many times that we were, like, punchy. Yes. We were dehydrated. Completely. Like, we were drunk. Wow. This is amazing. These are amazing. And, and, and Phil put so much into... Phil Tippett Ooh. put so much in, into even the, their feet touching the ground. I mean, there's yeah. so much... The detail for the special effects. I was shocked that... You know, Starship Troopers didn't win for special effects over Titanic because, I mean, it, the special effects in our movie were just unbelievable. It was so hot during some of these days. People were passing out. Yeah. I think Jake actually did once, didn't yes. he? Didn't he, like, pass out from heat exhaustion or something? Yeah. He, he had an oxygen yeah. tank and... <laughs> Gatorade and it, it was so hot and these suits the, well, we the made rubber, the costume. The rubber suits look your costume is a little bit lighter than normal I did that for you yeah you took the jacket off you let us take, <laughs> you let us take off the neoprene neck I think garter was, yeah, gator alright <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe a pound I was lighter still co I'm pretty compassionate to give you a little bit more uh, freedom and huh? yeah, yeah because the, the but the gloves the were nylon, still <laughs> the nylon that, that, that these suits were made out of just it, it did not breathe at no. all no I know well, didn't we try to, to build in the air conditioning system into the costumes? Yeah, but that was another yeah, 50 there were pounds. Two holes, there were like two holes right. in the crotch. <laughs> so we gave up on that. Right? <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, this was great. We had done one take where this this green stuff got we just got, got covered in it, and he looked like a green M and M with eyes. <laughs> and it was so funny. You don't have do you have that outtake like on the DVD? I don't know if that's there. <laughs> we can uh, so check funny. it out again. Oh my god, it was so funny. Oh, more bugs. Sergeant Morse back there. I like the eye. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. <laughs> what, what did he say there? Something about maggot puke. That was so funny. Look at after you scrape them off your boot. Bug tunnel there. <laughs> Bug tunnel there. So this is this is shot in the Badlands. Yes, in the South Dakota. In South Dakota. Yeah, and they they built the tunnel there. They built that uh over there. That was all uh. Yeah, there's an just artificial a little, tunnel, in fact, yeah. because it's just yeah. Just a valley, just a little gully. Remember all the cows that we would see? Yeah. <laughs> Driving to the set. Lots of cows. In the morning, just laying in the middle of the road. The explosions are real, but uh, yeah. the tunnel is not. The tunnel is digital. In fact, it's painted in. In fact, my my daughter wor worked on that. Uh, Digital tunnel. Oh. Hmm. oh, this was awesome. I remember just we did this for three days. The tanker bug thing it was insane. Well, this is. I think I shot Jake another time here. <laughs> yeah, I remember that there was some and tension on the set here, yeah. Dina, between you and uh, yeah and Ace. I think. Well, the thing is, like, we were all getting shot from just from that the 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 way the um, the fire comes out of the gun on the the sides right you're always gonna get you get, you're gonna get some sparks some yeah. something and like but, uh, you can't complain I was about me it to every blame of course huh? i was to be blamed by asking you to stand next to to jake and shoot uh, as many shoot. Uh, as <laughs> many right. rounds as you could get in exactly it was hard because I mean, you, you weren't supposed to shoot straight uh, straight ahead you were supposed to sort of shoot shoot on an angle left and right yeah yeah, yeah. Which exactly. caused you to hit I mean, I, I was getting hit though. Like, oh. oh man. Yeah, you, your arm got all. I was all like all bloody, shot. and I, you can't say anything. It's like you're, you're making an action film. You're gonna get, you're gonna get tweaked Speaking every now and again. Arms. Didn't Jake? Didn't Jake like set, yell "cut" and really piss you off at one point? I got very. Uh, he got, you know, he got angry. I like, got she angry. She shot me again. You got angry. Everybody got angry. <laughs> How was this, uh, Casper? This was on a, top this, of that. This is a tanker bug, and what it was, it, it was like an upside-down hull of a boat. You see this part of it, and, and I'm actually riding this, and uh, it, it was just, it was insane because it, it just goes side to side and forward and back, and then the the it was caterpillar a, truck moves. It was forward a truck or, 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 or something. Yeah, yeah. harnessed in or something. I had a harness on that that I could, I would, if I fell, I would only fall about six feet or something like that back, so that I wouldn't like get run over or, or break my neck when I fell. Um, and I ended up chipping two teeth on this one on the very first day. Um, well, first I landed on my, on my weapon. I, I cracked my rib, and I, I, I was coughing up blood. You cracked your rib I cracked it in, here? Uh, on, the, on the bug. When we were you riding You cracked it, your yeah. rib? I cracked my ribs, and I was coughing up blood for uh, two or three nights. And then I... So that was the very first take, because I landed on my weapon like this. I, I, it went right into my... Um, my rib cage, and I landed on my weapon face first. And so the next time when I was falling, I put my weapon up and I landed on my face, and I chipped two teeth. Wow! So I, uh, I, I, uh, and then I got back up and I did it for two more days after that. But I did. But you never, you were coughing up blood. I coughed up blood. Well, you never Trooper told anybody. Trooper, in every isn't it? sense of the word. Did you tell anybody? <laughs> um, I only talked to the medic. Oh, uh, and, and what he, did they say? That's normal. It, 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 well, there's nothing you can do for a cracked rib. Also, the wires uh, that held me on. As I fell down, would rip into my skin, so I had to start taping them up. Because after the first day, I was—I kept falling, and I could ride it. They said I, I don't know if this is true, but they said I could ride it like three speeds or five speeds faster than my stunt double. And I don't know if they were just doing that to get me to keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> but now it was quite clear. The stunt double couldn't stand on on that thing because he fell immediately. You could stand there for 10, 10 15 seconds. So I mean, was, <laughs> we don't have, had, had, we didn't have a choice, you know. So for three days I did it, and I got the crap beat out of me. I, I mean, this was. This was a cool scene. I liked it. A lot. I like. I like what you did a lot. I liked our. I liked our love scene a lot. I thought it was awesome too. Our love scene. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, it, the two seconds of it, it was fun. <laughs> our our pseudo bondage love thing it that was we cute. did. That's great. That's naughty. I'm, I'm I glad like you part. never told me, Casper, uh, that uh, what, what what happened to you there, because then it, I would have felt felt very guilty. I, I thought you were fine. What about the love scene. 
The love seat, yes. It was very hard on me. I I can't talk about about it right now. (laughs) Well, the love scene, I wasn't there. You know, I was not allowed in. You were there. (laughs) In fact, you were in bed with us at one time. No, that was Yoast. Oh, yeah. (laughs) All right. <laughs> actually, I actually have the Polaroid. Yeah. <laughs> was Josh Fagannoli and was John, you were in bed? Yeah. yeah. He was getting, he was lighting. He was lighting us and we were... He kept copping a feel and I told him to stop. Yeah, I mean, if people hear this, it looks like we're shooting showgirls, you know. <laughs> oh, man, oh, do I have to pull rank? Me. Come on. Tough guy. Whatever. Tough guy. <laughs> Now, in the script, Seth's character was, um, like, six foot four, 280, bulging muscles, bald black guy. That's what he was in the, ca- yeah. in the script. Yeah, well, that's how it described. This, yeah. this, see, one thing about this um, scene, I thought it was really difficult to dance to this fiddle playing. It is, yeah. It, you know, because you had this, like, that, that song we had playing over and over and over again that, that uh, Jake is fiddling. And we have to dance like a bunch of idiots. <laughs> Oh, I did. I, I get to dance with you this way. <laughs> <laughs> we have still the, the, the green violin. That's do you all. still have it? Oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> now, what happened here, Johnny Rico? Oh, my, and you, had a, you had to change our heart? Well, you know, I, I get mean, the little pep talk again from my... Uh, from Ratchek? From, yeah, this Mr. Scanners. Um, and, and I was afraid of him popping my head, so I... Uh, this is aw- This is awesome. You seem a little scared there for a sec. It, I like how she goes for my nipple. Mm, tastes like chicken. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> love this. Love this t-shirt business. This t-shirt business. <laughs> Getting tied up with a t-shirt. Yeah, when you're kind of blind. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Uh, Boots. Hey. It's a little oh. sado, sadomasochistic touch here, huh? Nice. 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 Love me tender. I love me true. That's a fun scene. It's hard being actors. It's difficult. Gotta hate my job. God, I was jacked up for this movie. <laughs> <laughs> This was another cover set. <laughs> I remember I wanted I wanted to be facing the other way because I wanted the tattoo on my arm. You wanted the tattoo to be seen. I love you, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're only human. <laughs> you're only human. Did you want to say uh, I love you too? I don't blame you. <laughs> uh, oh. Did I want to say? It? Yeah. Of course not. I, you know, that's what the script is. Yes, sir. Who's that with you? Uh, that would be. Uh, hello. <laughs> I get 20 minutes. What a <laughs> That's enough time. Speedy Gonzalez. We can do it. <laughs> 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 I feel like a trooper now. <laughs> Twenty minutes. Vini Vini Vici. Oh, this was that. What was that the? Um, well, that was around the corner of the of the of the camp, isn't it? What, this? Yeah. yeah. What canyon was this called, though? We had we had to like go the down. Hopper Canyon, we, had, uh, we called it. Hopper Canyon. Hopper Canyon. Because of the, the these animals that are coming down, and you see vaguely here and there, in the beginning, and then uh, ultimately uh, pick up the guy that uh, they were called. Uh, yeah, we called them hoppers, isn't it? Yeah, hoppers. Now, if I see a little thing, how come I don't say anything? Well, you thought you saw, mm. you saw something. Why, why it's very difficult because it's it's done in a way that you're not sure that you saw something or not, isn't it? Yep. Colonel Alicio. That's his real name. Go to higher ground, sir. Go to higher ground. Whiskey Outpost, Whiskey Outpost, this is Roughneck 201. Sugar, your weapon. Help me! Help me!
I'd expect anyone in this unit to do the same for me. Rico! Sir. You're acting sergeant. Move him out. You heard the lieutenant! Saddle up! That was a big one that Captain Dale died didn't want me to say, because saddle up means put your put your equipment on. Let's go. And he's like, no, no. And, and uh, that was a line that he didn't want me to say. Hmm. As you notice, it's it's in the it's in the movie. <laughs> he lost. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have anything to do with that. I think. Must this was like our right. first day, wasn't it? This yes. Was like this was our first shot day. the very first day. This is the very first day. This and and in the end, for the first day. This was one of the first days. This was wild. So how long was the shoot? Was it like 108 days or something? No, well, it was supposed to be. Uh, <laughs> I think it was a bit more than that. Was it? I'm, I'm, I'm I think we started with a schedule of 100 days or 102 days. But ultimately, uh, I think it was came close to 120 or something. Yeah. Yeah, so this was day one or day two. All those dead bodies would be put on a prop truck. Yeah, right. And so <laughs> after lunch, when you're <laughs> digesting your food, you could hop up on the pr prop truck and Kevin, see. Kevin Yeager. And, they were and we, were here for, <laughs> we were here for about two weeks, and so the blood that was um, that, that, that the set dressing would take care of, it have to, like, wet it down every day yeah. to yeah. make it look fresh. Yes, sir. We need retrieval. This place crawls. Get somebody in a communications... And Kevin Yeager made all the, the yes, bodies. He's also... Um, the guy that did Tales of the Crypt, he, he made the Crypt Keeper, and he also did uh, Sleepy Hollow, who helped create that story. Oh, this is great, Marshall. Mar yeah, Marshall was awesome. You used him in uh, Terminator Quato. To Total Recall. Yeah. It was Quato. Right. Yeah. Or Quato was inside of him, right? Wasn't Quato yeah, was yeah, inside was of Yeah, there was part of him or something, yeah. That's, uh, and, and Mike Lyonside was in that as well, so you're using your men again. God, God, I hate Mom? Oh. <laughs> the chariot bugs. Dina's favorite line in the movie? What does that look like to you, Rico? Looks like a bug was in his brain, sir. He sucked his brains out. I think we shot that the second day or the third day, isn't it? Yeah. That's when the start studio started to realize what kind of movie we were making. <laughs> Open back. Help! Help! Officer on the deck! Officer on the deck. <laughs> Very funny. Well, here we had a big problem with Dale, isn't it? Yes. Because he thought, I mean, he felt that it was um, Should be officer dishonorable, on deck. basically, that we put, put, put portray a, a general that was afraid. Yeah. And as a Marine, of course, he was, um, he couldn't, uh, couldn't, ha couldn't um, accept that. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't. And I know that uh, Ed Neumeyer and him had big battles about this. That was fun to see, though, too. The, oh, the Marines, battles Marines never them. crack? Huh? Marines like never crack. Like, no, yeah, nothing, well, that, nothing ever. True or not true, but that was his belief, and that was what he wanted to be, to see portrayed. And he felt that that doing something like this this was really uh, dishonoring the military. While we felt that it was more like a crazy general, basically that we felt that had broken down. And I thought it would be that it was okay that uh, not everybody was a hero, but um, I think all of you are very pretty heroic Did anyhow. Did you see Doctor Strange love? Yeah, for example, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I don't think he liked him in striking the general either, but that was, well, maybe he did. That was okay, yeah. Yeah, if he was going to be a wimp. He <laughs> okay. <laughs> All of these sets looked so flimsy when you were there. What? All these sets looked so flimsy when you were there. I think this, right. is, this is a great yeah. sequence right here. This is oh, this is one of the best in the whole movie. Yeah, this is the Zulu shot. Yeah. This uh, is, you got this from this shot, right? We, here. I, I copied. I mean, I studied Zulu and uh, Gunga Din. So that's one of the two movies that we really looked at to see uh, how to shoot a scene like that. I get chills watching it every time. Unbelievable! So great. Wow! Unbelievable! And they stop. And those were all extras that we used to put <laughs> in the suits. Yeah, right. I mean, I think it's amazing for the audience to realize that there was nothing there, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely I mean, it nothing. It must have been nothing. so difficult for, 
for all the actors uh, to to imagine something like this. Right now they would do that like the plate shot. Right. They yeah. just like shoot at nothing for about a minute. Yeah, but you are so appalled. The thing that was, you, you showed us a bug test that you had done to, to yeah. for the studio. So we yeah. actually saw a couple bugs destroying. Yeah, uh, but there were two bugs. To imagine about three thousand bugs. <laughs> yeah, and then different. you had you had the drawings though. You would draw yeah. things out, and then you also yeah. had somebody else draw out things, and you would have like each uh, shot drawn out. And as soon as you got the shot, you would put a piece of tape over it. So you had these big boards that you would put down, which it was amazing. And you always you had uh, little models of the bugs, and then you had like kind of videos that you would show us what it sort of looked like with the bugs coming. It was like generic shots of the bugs coming that Phil yeah, would show us too. Yeah, computer animated kind of uh, stuff. Yeah, that was just a very, let's say, more symbolic than that you could see much. But yeah. um, So you gave us a lot of information yeah, if but still, to see, but still, it was still to make shooting a whole nothing. scene with nothing. I mean, also amazing. for us, uh, for ourselves as, as crew, you know, for the, for, the, for the director and for the DP and everybody around to do a whole scene where there is the, the, the main enemy is just not there. It's kind of... It's, it's nearly depressing to shoot because you, you have... You, you do only half of the work and you're supposed to be done at the end of the day, isn't it? Yeah. And then you look at your dailies and it's all empty. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There's some great subtleties in the CGI stuff. When they shoot the bugs and they actually splatter onto the screen. Right. And yeah. just the dust getting kicked up and yeah. everything. So it's because none of that's there. And none no. of those pilings What's are falling all down. Added, yeah. What kind of helped me a little bit is like because, because we had a couple of those models yeah. of the um of those arachnid warrior type things lying around. The dead ones, yeah. Yeah, you kinda ones. had an idea of what you know, how big they were and of course you never realized how many were gonna you know, swarms of them were gonna be piling up on each other like this. Except for that one little video, which I think they, they were blue bugs that came up over. I don't remember if it was blue or red, and you saw them, but they were so generic. It's almost like the equivalent of looking at Pong, the very first uh, video game of just the, the ball right. going across. Almost looked like that in comparison to what you actually see. I mean, think we, we were like, we fired more... Rounds than any other movie, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny, after, I each think we, after each take, that um, set, the set decorator um, would have to, like, Sweep up all of the, all the used shells. And people would always ask me why we used uh, Actually, live ammo instead on of... Actually, on-set dresser, sorry. On-set on dresser. dresser is what I meant to say, not set decorator. Uh, wild stunts. Lots of wild stunts, people jumping on. Oh, that's great. There was also a digital man there, that we, the one that's... Not the one he's caught in the, but in the begin when they throw him over the wall, that's a digital yeah. uh, man. But the man caught was either that's real, yeah. Yeah, it was either Garrett or Joey. This was just insane. How do you do days. that kind of stuff? But that was with wires. We, did, we, uh, we uh, of course, the bugs were not there, but we timed it in a way that when the camera came there, that we pulled wires and then all these. Uh, baskets or whatever they are, they, they, they fall to the ground, they just roll away. This was literally a shooting at Paul. Paul got up in front of us, he was, I, I don't know if you were frustrated or not, but you got up and you just started going, ah, box, 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 and you were flailing your arms and you were just yelling, because, I mean, at that point, we were just like, we were shooting at nothing. So you just jumped out in front of us and you just went insane. <laughs> Which you did behind the camera as well. Like, if you, if you didn't get yelled at by you, you weren't in the film. <laughs> And I think for someone watching, it doesn't seem like it would be rocket science to look scared like uh, there's a bug coming at you. But come take 14, 16, <laughs> yeah, right. 17, you, you run out of you okay, know, spontaneity yeah, in right. your expressions with looking at nothing and shooting a gun. And just feeling fear. Yeah, and that's what was inspirational. Oh, now this, this, this was vermiculite. Yeah. What's right? that? Vermiculite. Vermiculite. I, I don't know. That first they had some kind of like it was a fertilizer-y thing or it was just like a... I, I don't know. It's, it's this gold stuff. It's a soil that... Uh, it doesn't get, if, if it gets wet, it doesn't really absorb it. Well, anyway, um, pulling Ratchet out of this pit right here, when I, well, right, I guess at that point, yeah. I uh, actually hit my head against the plate on the, well, oh, the floor, on the, side, on the deck. Yeah. Yeah, got a concussion. And, uh, yeah, I had to shut down production for the day. We had an insurance Well, you were out for a couple of days. Two days. I, I think, well, actually, that, yeah, that's right. I had a nurse watching yeah, over me that right. night. You can't sleep when you have a concussion. Yeah, they had a nurse that was checking in on me every couple of hours, waking hmm, me up funny. and asking me if I knew my That's my funny. Name. Casper broke two ribs, and he continued to work. Oh, <laughs> yeah, well, I was out. Well, oh. <laughs> she got knocked out, though, man. I, I didn't get knocked out. I just, <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. I mean, it's, it's just a flesh wound. <laughs> I shot. I couldn't, I couldn't stand. 
Wow. Thanks. Yeah. That was good. That's that was good. good. That was a I, good toss. That got a lot of yells in the theater. I think that's really... What's up? This is one of the oh, worst no. things we, we... Oh, that's got to hurt. Wow. I think it's one of the worst things we did to the audience to kill her off. Is it? Hmm. Maybe after her victory. <laughs> that it, was so well, mean. Well, not only that victory, but the, the Johnny victory. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, was that the one, one you were talking yeah, about? Yeah, <laughs> that's the one he's talking about. It's I remember such, that piece in the... Now this, I th see now this, I remember arguing with you about, and you're telling me to scream, and I'm saying, but I've got punctured lungs. How am I getting enough air in to scream? You're like, I don't care, just scream, just scream. <laughs> and I'm saying, but Paul, I'm, I would, I don't think I'd be able to like. <laughs> How could I just scream? Don't ask me questions, just scream. <laughs> 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 and then he tells me I'm difficult. I'm saying, look, I'm just trying to make this real. I'm just trying to... I don't know if I'd be able to scream. Just scream! <laughs> don't argue with me, you're being difficult! <laughs> Come on, I, I, mean, I thought that was more lovely than that. <laughs> so what did you ultimately do? Did, did you have I to scream? scream? I screamed. I screamed. Uh, okay. I screamed. You're the boss. <laughs> Well, sorry, Barbara. But then people, ask, <laughs> but then people ask me, what, how, how'd you manage to scream with like that? But that's kind of that's like bad acting. I'm like, well, I would, just was doing what I was told. I, I tried to fight it. Yeah, well, uh, who, who said it was bad acting? Everybody. <laughs> 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 and now this scene, I had to we loop. Shot, we shot I sh four months later. No, I, we, I think we used original and looping both. I, well, the thing is, I had to loop this whole scene, yeah. and I did it like. Like just consecutively, I just let them roll it, and I just did it like the the, the five minutes or three minutes or whatever it is, like all the. <laughs> <clears throat> I had to like try to figure out when. It's hard to loop death scenes and crying scenes. It was easy for me to loop the scene. The I didn't say anything. I actually did it on my back because to get myself in You're the good. position, like hey. on my back. I'm good on my back. Is that what you're gonna well, say? Well, you lay on the floor. Hey. Really, Casper. Otherwise it's, it sounded wow. too, too normal. It's so dirty. It was my back. I was on, I was on my back. I like the kiss, the bloody, the bloody kiss. Yeah, I'm, I had a little blood here, right on the side of my mouth. Sugar. <laughs> it was so sweet. I had so much blood <laughs> in my pants, literally. Wow. The ship was on something that's called a gimbal, and we were tilted on a way like I was like upside down, kind of, or just uh, I was in a weird position, uh, defying gravity somewhat. And um, the the blood that was coming out of my mouth was being fed through a, a tube. And it was like just getting me drenched. And for some reason, it all wound up in my pants. <laughs> and I think it was because of the way, that, I mean, I'm sure it, it had to be the way. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. Well, these, these uniforms did but, that walking, but walking away from the set, squish, you know, squish, 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 squish. squish. <laughs> well, that, that when, my got, when my leg got um, stabbed by the bug, the same thing happened. My, my pants were full. And it's so sticky. So sticky. And it stains your body. Although yeah. what's, what's, what's so funny is that you can take blood stain or, or red food, whatever it's made out of, um, you can get rid of that with wet ones. Yeah. Wet ones can take off any kind of stain. FYI, viewer, I mean, wet ones, you have, you have any kind of stain, you could just use a wet one to take it off. This is the Spock scene. Once, somebody asked me if I knew the difference between a citizen and a civilian. Look at that tight jaw. Why don't you open your mouth? A citizen has the courage. It's prosthetic, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it, you actually see the, you see the scar it's on like my chin? Somebody, I, they actually put chin implants in there. <laughs> Look, she, is she happy that I'm dead? Dizzy was my friend. Mm. She looks happy. She looks pretty happy. Reading. Well, she could be sad right now. Maybe she's. She was a citizen of the Federation. Is that Amy Smart? No. You look dead. Um, I wasn't. <laughs> what was it like being uh, made up to look like I was dead? No, being in the coffin. Um. With it closing on you like that. It only closed on me for a second, though, because I wasn't in there then. No, I know, but when it closed on you, it was that 
Mm, no, because it's not like a real coffin. It's, it's like a fake coffin. One of my favorite parts about being in this movie was that I was in none of the battle scenes, so they'd work for a month and a half with blue screens and bugs and guns I know, what and were dirt you do and blood. What were, what were you I'd doing just when... i lounge, hang out, watch TV, read a book, <laughs> and then i get to march in afterwards and do my big dialogue scene. And... <laughs> Here you come. Here we got some com comments on. The He's Gestapo. Like, yeah. Yeah. The Gestapo. <laughs> the first King. time we had a wardrobe fitting and they showed me the rubber trench coat, I thought, wow, <laughs> I see what kind of movie this is. <laughs> My eyes are all gaunt. How are Hello. you, Tom? Carmen. Oh. Look like you've been under a little stress. Did you realize that people would take it so, uh, let's say, um, yeah. fascist like? I, I mean, think it's I did. Cle clearly a fascist statement, but it is basically portraying, of course, him as uh, having become nearly callous, isn't it? Yeah. I like the sense of humor about it. I think I wish more people got. I think they get in it now more with the video and the DVD. I think more people are are, are getting this, your sick sense of humor. But and from Carl's point of view, it is what he's saying is true. It's no, he's clear. he's on yeah. he's on a higher position enough that it's it is all statistics and numbers, and they have to win this war. Right. He can think of nothing else at this point. I mean, it's uh, when they did uh, the invasion in um, in France and Normandy, they also calculated it that way. Mm. The fir they Completely. Would, yeah. they were, when the first wave, they expected 80% to die. Yeah. And so they counted enough waves to get uh, waves to get 100% again, which was about 10 or 15 waves they needed to be back to 100%. Unbelievable. Yeah, but the military, all, all the people that were involved also knew that. The people yes. that were going in, the men knew that as well. They didn't know anything, of course. Yeah, well, the but the leaders did. Yeah. Well, that was also a pretty harsh calculation, isn't it? I mean, you have to sit there and say, okay, so how many men do we have to sacrifice to get enough people on the, on, on, uh, on the beach? I wanted that rubber trench coat. Whatever happened to that? It's on eBay right now. Damn it. You didn't get your wardrobe? No. I did. Not that. You have it at home? Yeah. Do you wear it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on it's Halloween a little, it's, a little, it's a little big for me now. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't. Uh, 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 Jake couldn't look in the sun. Isn't it? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> like a, that, that lucky guy that, that comes over and says, "Hey, baby, can you put on that uh, Starship Troopers uh, costume for me? Can you, put, uh, can you play Dizzy tonight? <laughs> sure, honey. Wow. <laughs> I'd like you to wear all rubber. Do you get me? We got you, sir. I love seeing the difference in your acting here than in the beginning of the movie. It's good. It's like a good arc to see you being this callous and leader. See, he doesn't say that when we're out. He tells me how much I suck when we're, you know, during the film. But now <laughs> on here, he's just being nice. No, oh, thanks, Neil. And it probably knows we're coming. Saddle up! Saddle up. At the end, I wanted to sound more like Iron, iron Ass. Good old Iron Ass. Rico. Face <laughs> of action. This was all filmed on on a sound stage on a big giant gimbal as well. Right, right. That whole you mean it's not in space. Surprisingly, yeah, it was not. all blue screen clearly, and 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 a gimbal, and then the camera also. Um, Hand hold nearly so to give it more more movement, isn't it? We've this cam camera is really floating around here. But the gimbal, the sets on this big giant gimbal plate, and it can move to, at very extreme angles. We had a fire, didn't we? On that? Yeah, but it looks like it's it it can also move to the left and the right, which is not the case. It could only move back and forward. Oh, is that right? Yeah, the yeah, camera was the other part. Not enough money to have a double gimbal system. Huh? So they said, well, we can give you only one movement. <laughs> forward and back. Yeah. So the handheld would provide the left and right. Uh, yeah. So the the camera did the other stuff. Yeah. Huh. Brenda Strong. I wish she didn't have to die. Me too. She should have been in the sequel. Oh wait, there's yeah, no sequel. Too late. Never mind.
more, these are incredible shots. Somebody got burned during this, right? <laughs> Well, basically, if people listen to this commentary, nobody would give me a job anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous business, filmmaking. With me, apparently. I think if oh. you're going to do an action movie, there, there, there are always, there's always the risk that you're going to get hurt. I'm hopefully, well, a lot hope of it, when we did Total Recall, there was a lot of accidents. I mean, I you couldn't foresee them, you know, but people made small mistakes and then you break a leg or an arm or whatever. Human error. Happens. I mean, nothing terrible ha ha happened, but there's always... With these stunts, you cannot completely foresee it, and uh, that's why you don't want the actors to do it. Otherwise, you would just ask the actors to do it, isn't it? I'd if it would be safe, it. really, completely. Which is the shot where you see little bodies floating around in space? I think there was in the. Uh, you cannot see that on the DVD, but because it's so. But in the theater, you would see it that this. Um, the bodies hit the. In the first. No, oh, it's in this. I think it's somewhere in these kind of shots, but not this one earlier, I think, uh, when they are still more together, the two uh, ships. Oh, I thought it was right it. here on, on the little ship. Well, the body hits the windshield. Yeah, yeah. that's what I thought. Oh. Right there. Boom. There you go. No, that's not. I'm oh, there they're about. floating. Yeah. There are some things. Yeah, but they're pretty big. But there are also small people in the big ship, and the, when the, uh, the two oh, yeah, parts the of the ships, ships start to separate, you can see very small people rotating around. Wow. But I think it's difficult to see that on a DVD. You have really to be in the theater to uh, to, to uh, see the, that kind of detail. Johnny. It's impressive that that kind of detail exists at all. Johnny. But so they were very precise. Yeah. Hmm. Roger, Young just burned up. On the rescue net. Any survivors? Well, they're getting tarred up there pretty bad. Bravo 632 on board. Is anyone receiving? Affirmative. This is Roughneck 2 0. You're breaking up. Say again. Carmen? Say again. I'm losing you. Carmen! Prepare for land. Petro in 3, 2, 1, fire! More of the gimbal. More shots that we're not in. Mr. Gimbal must be a wealthy man. <laughs> now we're on the set. In uh, this is here in the Gilbert Studios. Yeah. I came and I came and visited this day. <laughs> this is, it was amazing these tunnels. It took up one, the the largest soundstage, didn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, a lot where they shot the Wizard of Oz, I think. And that's all foam, all the rocks and everything. Yeah. Are right. All styrofoam. Styrofoam. Great for the environment. <laughs> it's all biodegradable. Oh, right. <laughs> foam. South 42 East 118 situation is. I repeat, South 42 East 118. It's just amazing. Once again, there's nothing there. I hope everyone here is watching this in widescreen and not pan and scan. <laughs> Damn the pan and scan. He's finally. Look at his head. What happened? That was weird. Like his hair was all matted down. It didn't even look like his real oh. hair. Because there it's fluffy. It's wild. Oh. <laughs> it's going to leave a mark. <laughs> <laughs> she recovers well from that Doesn't injury. Doesn't she? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quite miraculously, I would say. I was like, whose fault is that? Well, that's who, do, who do we blame for that? I would say that that, that must be the scriptwriter. I, I would say the scriptwriter. <laughs> the one who's not here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, gee, I've got this giant hole through my, my shoulder, and yet I'm just glad we're all going to be friends. Well, I made sure that she didn't move the hand too much afterwards. It's tricky because okay. even though you, you, you <laughs> I mean, it's, it's got a smart, just a little. You need yeah, that in the future. Know. In the future, it hurts less. The, the problem is this, the, the, that the feet of these or whatever the things they use to stab are so big that it looks gigantic when it comes through you, through your shoulder, isn't it? Mm. Oh, look at that! Jesus, that's nasty. You need the peril here, but then you also need the happy ending. <laughs> right. so you can't have her screaming in agony you during, you the, you during the last. You don't bit. have your heroes looking too messed up. Exactly. Okay. In the pretty little Starship Trooper world. 
I think these little animals should have done something with them, which is unpleasant, but... Uh, <laughs> 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 like the hopper bug did to Colonel I, uh, No, I always Where felt that... I, I, I felt that we had always... That the scene was nearly for the ending to tame, and that we were never able to... Um, to... to um, to do something better than the middle part of the movie, which <laughs> is uh, where the scenes are so, really, when the, the fortress and whatever is so well done. And I think you, we needed something bigger here, but we never found that or we never did that. And I think the brain bug on itself seems to be so um, nearly um, non, non menacing <laughs> that I think we should probably have added a couple of new bugs there that would be, let's say, bodyguards of the of the brain bug, and that would be defending it and, and would have been a little bit something different than you had seen before. Mm. More violent. No, in this scene... Yeah, you and also different, different forms that yeah. you hadn't seen. So there would be something really amazing and aggressive in the last part of the scene. And now it's kind of nearly timid, isn't it, a little bit, because... There's the brain bug, which can only suck your brains out. But there's all the warrior bugs around Yeah, them. but that's, we have seen that in so many scenes now that it feels nearly uh, like, okay, that we know. Anticlimactic. Yeah. yeah. How is the air quality in, in, in the bug tunnels? Well, dusty. <laughs> yeah, very dusty. I, I had heard uh, Jake had requested um, oxygen tanks. They were there. They were there? Yes, they were there. Really? Oh, I'm so glad well, I because it got days. so dusty there. I mean, you were, and, and, and a lot of people were uh, using little masks in it, like they use in Japan. Right. Uh. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Hey, Paul, do you think that Carl sent some sort of psychic message to Johnny to go down the other... We had talked about that. Well, that was the idea always, yeah. isn't it? What, th was it it was Carl's Yeah, that was doing? Carl's idea. I don't think that comes completely out... Uh, it's not completely clear in the movie anymore. Yeah. In, uh, or in the... in the, uh, But it was always the idea that there was a message uh, that he was telepathically um, um, doing something with Johnny, isn't it? Hmm. S say to Johnny, go there, and then Look at now, what is that? What is that? Oh, well, come that's on. just disgusting. That is basically a, a, a piece of... I want to know who designed I want to know what this. the original design for the brain bug was. What is that supposed that to was, resemble? This was the original design, I think. Um, and that was done by uh, Phil Tippett Studios, really. What's it supposed to... Yeah. But, of course, it has a very strong vagina and Slash quality sphincter. In it. So, but so but <laughs> on the other hand, it's, it's a vagina that comes out of... Uh, it's, it's a it looks like an ass that's coming out of a vagina. that comes out of a vagina. Which comes out of an ass. A giant penis. So I don't know. It's <laughs> oh. Islam nearly hermaphroditic, isn't it? How is, is that the English word for that? Hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodite, yeah. Hermaphrodific? Hermaphrodific? That is not... Dina, help me, help me, help me. You're American, you can say that. Hermaphrodite, yeah. Okay, thanks. You're now that is not CGI. Okay, there were so four guys inside this. That, that this was really his brain. Front piece of uh, the yeah. brain bug who would manipulate the sphincter, if you will, it, it and the, the eyeballs. Is, it's digital, yeah, there, there were like, the there were like five shots, puppeteers it's a, it, it's in there. It's a real thing, yeah. Right. That is done by puppeteers, and all the eyes are moved uh, independently by the puppeteers. Do you remember our call sheet? How big it was? Like just our, our crew alone. Yeah. And well, this, of course, is digital. And this is digital, this is digital brain bug. I think from here on it's nearly all digital. It's a also, you would see that it suddenly has much more, uh, let's say, uh, nuanced movement than it had before. Mm -hmm. Before it's just, uh, in the close-up it's a bit stiff. Yeah, but, but here just it's the head. really more as an acting, as a real animal, isn't it? It has all kind of little nuanced uh, movements. So you can, in fact, you can do much more with digital um, proceedings than, than, than making it really, uh, making it real on the set. I love your line, you're a great big scary brain bug. <laughs> 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 yeah, I didn't write them. I know you, you're a great big scary brain bug. What we also never could explain and ne never worked very well, we tried to have, but the idea was that the brain bug was, was hanging or, or sitting on the, all these little animals. On the chariot bugs. Yeah, and that they would be carrying <laughs> Carrying the brain bug, but so I don't think you get easily. that idea very well at all. It looks like the brain bug is nearly floating in space, uh, isn't it? Hmm. And you don't get the feeling that the other ones, the little chariot bugs, are yeah. carrying it. No, not at all. No. But I, I, I remember that's what they were supposed to be. Yeah. That's but why I don't saw think it we saw it in, 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 in We didn't outpost. pull that off, really. Somehow we've... It looks a little... Fantasy-like.
Nice job, Seth. Good guy. Good death scene. <laughs> you like that? Get some. <laughs> Apocalypse now. Now this wall that came down. The wall that comes down is real. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. I remember oh. that fire coming up after us. That is real, yeah. Yeah. With wow. So it, it was not real stone, I must say. It was some no. styrofoam. Of, <laughs> styrofoam, <laughs> yeah. It is awfully dusty. <laughs> she was still smarting from her arm injury. Yes. Actually, I think it was big, well, the whole Xander thing. She left Xander. Oh, oh right. Miss Xander. Yeah, Xander. This was wild, seeing all these extras just running around and everything, and it was just insane. Was the most uh, one day we had like eleven hundred extras? Yeah, it was mostly with the landing. Yeah. Some of these are computer, aren't they? Or no, these are no, all, this is all, all real. All real. Yeah. Well, not the brain brain bug. This was pretty complicated to get this net, this old digital net over a digital animal and still has to connect with the people. And it, yeah. the, the, the part of the ropes are real and part is not real. Yeah, well, the front of the bug is real, right? Yeah. yeah. No, this is just all uh, digital. Oh, it's all digital? Now, we've I talked think when a he lot puts about his hand there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when he puts his hand on it. We've talked a lot about Captain Dale Dye. And, and you here can he see is. him in this scene. He's the one with the black pants and the... And the gray beard. Yeah. Well, you see him in the close shot. And this is really funny because the puppeteers, right, right before each take, would is. have to slime up. Oh, yeah, there's, there's Captain Dale Dye. They would have yeah. to slime the up the, the opening. Yeah. There we go. This is re the real, isn't it? The close shot. That That's is yeah. just a prop. Oof. With, puppe oof. with puppeteers. <laughs> the line. The greatest line. It's a phrase. It's a phrase! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And how many times do you have to say that? Quite a few. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be like, it's afraid. It's afraid. It's afraid. It's afraid. Good. Hey, well, look who's here. You made it. Good. It was you. Good. <laughs> <laughs> really excited. He's so callous. Yeah. He's so callous. Hey, oh, it's oh, good. Oh, good. Right. Um, nice. We get the bus. Anyway. I hope you're right, Carmen. I hope you're right, Carmen. Where's our other arm? Is it down? Or is it behind Casper? Would you like red sauce uh -huh. or green sauce with your order, sir? <laughs> That's right. And everyone will forget that this was the moment. This is when it turned. Well, green is right because it's starboard, and red is port, which is left. It was Clancy Brown. Drill instructor was looped. Good job, Sergeant. Thank you, sir. That would be private, sir. That's that's something you wanted the ranks to be on the outside once, did you? Or no, I just read really the idea that it's say somewhere that he can only be um, only when he goes uh, as a soldier that he can go back into war in it. So yeah, he he, he he lost his rank as sergeant. <laughs> this is this, this kind is of mean. <laughs> oh jeez. <this is> <laughs> Censored. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just God, to get the audience me. a nice feeling at the end. <laughs> How come we didn't have that? Yeah, where was that gun? We needed it. Ibanez. <laughs> That's how you say it. Wasn't there a tilde on top of the end? Wouldn't that make it Ibanez? Yeah. That was supposed to be, yes. Yeah, that's my Michael Ironside. That's the last line, isn't it? Yeah. You know that there's a line of Fre Frederick of Prussia, the the, the, the the emperor of the German uh, of, of Germany in the whatever 19th century, uh, and the, the line is, "Dogs, do you want to live forever?" And they'll oh, win. Oh wow, really? Yeah. So Heinlein stole it. He was a thief. I think Ed Neumeyer stole that. I think. It's and actually it, in a Heinlein. Is it in the Heinlein book? It well, is then in the he stole it from that. That yeah, in Europe was a very well known. Uh, expression 
that was used in the military after he had the, the, the emperor had used it uh, himself. Wow. Well, it was uh, it was in the novel. I, I wanted to say on the bounce too, but we didn't have the bounce suits. You know, f finally, after so many years, I have I'm I'm, t I'm I'm in interviews. I'm telling you new, now the truth that I never read the novel. You oh, never you did. No. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. You forced all of us to. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I read. couldn't read that novel. It was too I boring. So after Ed, after Ed had told me uh, the story, uh, let's say when he pitched the story to me and I told it, I was so I, I thought it was so fu much fun, and then basically when I started to read the book, I was so kind of bored. Bored because it was so philosophical, and 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 so I, after a couple of chapters, I decided not to read it because it depressed me completely, and I thought wow. I'm not going to do the movie otherwise. The bugs in the novel were they all they all were like spider-like things with helmets, and they they carried weapons that they fired. Right. And there was also skinnies with the other evil. Yeah, but the, yeah, we didn't use the skinnies, but them. we thought bugs with with weapons in their hands would be really silly, isn't it? Yeah. So we tried to make it all biological, really, that all the weapons they have are things that you find in nature, in fact, on Earth. Yeah. Only, uh, normally, of course, it's very small bugs that have these kind of, uh, even this, this spray that exists, isn't it? With very small bugs. Have Some of them, I forgot the name of the bugs, but it can spray a little kind Stink of... Stink bugs and... In the sequel, we should do the bounce suits. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think now that would be possible because you could do a lot of that, uh, let's say, digital. Mm. Yeah. And we are, have progressed enough to do that. It seemed to be impossible. I mean, in retrospect, I think we could nearly have done it here too. Because uh, especially when I, s I saw how many little digital elements of the of the people were already used in the movie, like uh, when, uh, when they throw people over the wall and all that. Um, but I think when we started the process, we thought we couldn't pull it off. And you thought it would look like a, a flea circus. Huh? Do you, do you I remember you thought it would look like a flea circus. Yeah. Do you right. think you could digitally reincarnate Dizzy? Uh, well, that would be a possibility, Dina. Oh, really? Depending I was how nice you are to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> come back as. You can come back as. Uh, they, they call that sexual harassment nowadays. What I just said, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and yeah you know what, clearly. And now, and now, and now it's on. And now it's, it's on the DVD. And, and it's on the DVD. So, so lawyers will be contacting you at your. Uh, See, folks, this is what I've had to put up with. <laughs> For six months, I put up with it. God, it's, it's longer. It's longer. And he makes me months. have to be this. No, it took us six months. It's a six-month shoot. Actually, we started, when did we start? We started in... Uh, April. And we finished in October. I didn't. At least no, under 20 days without stop, so that must have been <coughs> five, six months, yeah. yeah. No, six months. Maybe six and a half. Yeah. Has everyone nodded off yet? We should, probably say what? Goodbye. What? we should probably say goodbye. Oh, at the end? Yeah. Are yes, we? this <laughs> is it. Are we done here? This is the end. This is Paul Verhoeven. Thank you very much for listening. And... Um, Till the next movie. Hey, it's Neil Patrick Harris is Carl Jenkins signing <laughs> off. Thanks for buying the DVD. Enjoy all the extras, and uh, we'll see you in the sequel. Uh, it's Casper Van Dien. Thanks for watching. We had a blast. Hope you did too. Hi, it's Tina Meyer. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. We did. <laughs>